a tiny intro for a tiny little premiere for season three. We have new music coming for season three, new artwork, but like 2020, everything's coming a little bit later than expected. Along with our power hour, I am Christian Humes here with the Unranked Podcast. We have Alex Marnell, Dan Ween, and Tom Caswell. Whole crew is here. Guys, hey. season three. Yep. Season three, here we go. Off to a great start. Off to a fantastic start. Yes. How's everybody doing? I agree. Nice to doing see you. Doing okay, Christian. Doing okay. How was your Christmas? Uh, it was nice. The yep. Christmas was just T and I here at the house. We didn't go mm-hmm. anywhere. We didn't see anyone. And no. that was kind of actually nice a little bit. So, <laughs> to be honest, okay. you know, that wasn't bad. That's good. Yeah. Uh, br- what about uh, you? Get anything good? Get anything? Get any good presents? Uh, I actually just got the last part of my gift today. So, which I, are, which and is? T still has some stuff coming. Um, I got a workbench. Mm-hmm. Well, not a workbench. I got a tool chest. Oh, I got a tool boy. chest to go with the workbench I just got. So, I got one of those mm-hmm. like fire, like hydrant red metal mm-hmm. tool chest now in the garage. I was actually just putting mm-hmm. it together before doing this. And it's fucking awesome. It's big. It's metal. It's heavy. It's got a bunch of drawers. It's got a big cabinet. Very right. excited. Yeah. So Britt and I closed on a house. Yes, you did. Uh, so that was our Christmas present. Congratulations. Uh, interestingly and thank you very much. Interestingly <laughs> enough, uh, my mom's wait, wait, boyfriend Alex, Jeff. What did you what did you get? What did you and Britt get for Christmas? A house. Oh wow. Congratulations. So, that's the house. <laughs> that's the Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um we actually both told said to each other we're not gonna get each other anything, and we both actually stuck to that. Like Mm. we even said, don't get us, don't Uh get even the little thing, don't get anything, because I'm not getting you anything, so don't get me anything. And a new tradition was born. Uh, (laughs) Well, when you drop drop a certain hundreds of grands on a house, you kind of say, eh, maybe I don't need to go on Etsy and buy some stupid thing. So, um, anyway. (laughs) Etsy. (laughs) uh, Interestingly enough, Chris, I thought you'd appreciate this, but my mom's boyfriend, Jeff, got me a... Power, a cobalt power drill yes and a cobalt tool bag with 365 yes. oh. like tools slash pieces oh yeah i love it so Say it he again. was like my mom said my mom was like he's never gonna use this and <laughs> and jeff goes jeff goes um well the he got it before, so that when he does work at the house he'll have tools <laughs> <laughs> at the house. Oh, when Jeff work does with. work. When Jeff does when, work. When you call house. up Jeff and be like, Jeff, we need this fixed. We need this done. He, yeah. He won't have yeah. to lug his equipment. But, well, It'll just was, be. Uh, but this is a lie was, because you've done like real yeah. labor and like construction style work. Like when you work with your dad, like in the city, yeah. you've done electrical work. Like you've done like but you've been was, in a building. And you, know you know what you're doing. You know what you But he's done it, is my point. But now he's dainty. That was 13 years ago. Now I have, you know, I can get, some, I can pay someone to do things. But you know, in, if what's funny is that um, the not anymore. Owners, you just bought a house. You don't have any money. Uh, yeah. to fucking pay for it. We got no Jeff to no come over now. and fucking do right. shit for you. Got no money now. Um, what's funny is that we there was this granite uh, desk. Well, this like the countertop was granite for this desk that the previous owners left in the house. We wanted to get rid of it. The granite had to have weighed over 300 pounds, and yeah. Jeff brings over like the, the dolly cart to get it down the stairs, and the two of us can't do it, so he calls his brother. So his brother comes over. It's the three of us trying to get this slab of granite down the stairs. I'm pretty. I, I Britt had to have taken a picture. Wait, I, wait, wait, wait. She has a video. Wait, wait. This granite so came from what room of the house? Second floor office. Sec- oh, I thought, okay, I thought you it was said like a granite desktop. It was a granite desktop uh, awesome. that they left that we were like, shit, we don't really want it. Um, but yeah, there's a video that maybe I'll send you guys of us taking oh, it Oh, absolutely. Please do. Patreon. Um, Patreon.com. Right 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 yeah. um, so the floors are getting sanded already, stained hopefully by next week. So yeah, things are, things well, are coming well, along. How how many bedrooms? Yes, Thomas. Four bedrooms. Be- well, I would really say three bedrooms. Really and planning a tiny for room. uh, really planning for a smorgasbord of little critters to. <laughs> it's a four bedroom house. I just got yelled at. Regrets. It's a four bedroom house. A school of tunas. A school of tunas. A school of tunas. Oh There's God. not a tiny room. Al- although I will say one room is all. Al- since you're calling me out, one room is getting uh, used as it's going to be labeled a beauty room. Ah. Uh, 
And I assume that's oh, the smallest room. You have to go that's with good correct. names. You got to go. So like this, my office is, is the studio. T's <laughs> office okay. slash guest room is the lounge. Okay. You know, you have to have, I'm, call, I'm calling the garage the workshop. The workshop, this is, okay. This is what, this is what the, the room I'm in is the, uh, Brooke and I refer to as the creative space. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Now, it's really funny you mentioned the granite tuna because mm-hmm. it really puts into perspective your current living situation where you had a 300-pound slab of granite that took three men and a dolly yes. to exit. And the yep. granite that I have in my kitchen, because I was on, I was playing Mario Kart with some work friends um, when we got let out for the break last week. Yeah, and thanks I, for the invite. It was, yeah. You, well, you know what? Change jobs, come work for Input.com, and then you'll get invited to the Input.com Mario Kart. <laughs> All right. Wait, was this in person? <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. So we Tom, were just... you're hiring Alex right now? Yeah, was that a job offer? Was that a job offer? I mean, we will. I promise you, we do not pay nearly as much as you're making right now, <laughs> uh, especially now that you've bought this house. You probably don't. Classic change of subject. But, yeah. mm. but um,. No, it was, anyway, Zoom, yeah, the granite. it was a Zoom hangout. We were all hanging out on Zoom. And I was yeah, just, the granite. I was making dinner while I was playing. So I had my laptop yeah. in the in the kitchen. And I guess uh-huh. like the corner of my kitchen uh the the kitchen is basically just like a standing space. Like you can do you can access everything in the kitchen just by spinning in a circle. But there is okay. kind of like a it's not an island because it's by itself, but like a Ban uh, uh, a a table ish island that's connected to the wall. Yeah, it's it's still a, yeah yeah. So it's like a countertop. Peninsula. Peninsula. A countertop. Yeah, is it a, is it a waterfall countertop? Does it like turn and then go down to the floor, or is it stop? It's it stops. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And it has like a faux granite, like <laughs> corkboard oh. top. Yeah, mm. and then it and probably someone- has like epoxy over it, right? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's peel. Like when we moved yeah. in, it was like breaking and stuff. And one of my one of my coworkers was like, "Oh my god, that's a lovely granite countertop you got there, Tom." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, totally. It's not a cork board like yeah, thing yeah, that yeah. someone just glued on top here." Right. Really puts into perspective your living situation and uh, mm. and, and the one. Yeah, I, I'm I have that on our ca- on our coffee table. We have a quartz. We have a real quartz countertop, but then our coffee table we got is half wood, like half like MDF wood, which has the like vinyl wood look. Which like right. anything that you put together, it's like it's like a vinyl wood image that's like been racked onto it, and then part of it is like a vinyl quartz, so it matches mm. the countertop. But it was also like. Yeah. One hundred and fifty dollars. You know who was it? Who we were right. spending like five hundred dollars on a fucking no, no, coffee no, no. table just to have the quartz? Right. Where I was like, oh, this will look nice. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna do? So, um, yeah, what, what, what are you gonna do? Can we? It, can we just jump to the Pokemon? Because oh, right, it's an exciting time. Totally, totally forgot about yeah. the pokes. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I didn't want to cut your your house stuff short, but before yeah. we Oop. get to the Pokemon. What region? What region are we in now? Oh, I was oh, going to ask that question. Oh, sorry. Oh, um, no, no, so I we forgot. I'm jo- glad you did. So it's Johto, Kanto, mm-hmm. and now oh, it's yeah. Soto. <laughs> Dan, do you have a clue? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Santa Domingo. Ah, oh. <laughs> Santa Domingo. That would be that would be great. Tom, I feel like you're going to be the person here that actually has the closest relationship to these characters because this is the one Pokemon game that I didn't play when it came out. This is the first game I had to go back to later. Whoa. Because this was like during had the period of time where I kind then? of felt, I fell out of pokes. Had huh? you had you moved by then? Oh yeah. This this Alex, this was uh probably when we were like fourteen like like fifteen probably. Yeah. Mm. We were in like high school. And so, so you had already headed down to Delaware. March yes. 19th, 2003 is when it released. Look, they're in 15 America. years old. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Hey, I was way we're past Pokemon Sapphire, at this point. Baby. I didn't get back into it for another six years. Wait, March I mean, I- 2003. That's, yeah, that's around the time I got sick. <laughs> I missed four months of school. Holy, Holy shit. shit. What? What happened to you? What the hell were you sick yeah. from? Uh, I had rheumatic fever. What? Which is if you don't treat strep, 
you get rheumatic fever. And, how did you uh, how did you make that movie though? Because that was the the first year of the Southside High School Film Club. Or did you Oh no, you didn't. You made a movie the following year. I didn't make any movie. You, you were in a movie, movie in 2004. Did. Wasn't wasn't Dan in was in a movie? A film club movie <laughs> in 2004? I was not in no. any movie. I'm thinking of someone in else then. Any year. Yeah. I thought Dan did film club. I was in He was in video was in club, but he did not video do a club, film. But I did not do a movie. <laughs> I could have sworn he was in someone's movie. I remember a video, and Dan is in like a gazebo during part of it. I have this image in my head. It was the 2004 year. I wasn't. That's why I don't remember it. Are you sure you're not just confusing me with another one of like their friends from back then? Because I'm yeah. pretty sure they made that movie before I was friends. With yeah, them. because this wasn't in the movie Alex made. This was someone else's. It was like uh, McGraw Wolf's movie, I think. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. We were doing dumb jackass shit, probably. I didn't even live there, and I remember this. So how about that Pokemon, huh? <laughs> that wasn't a movie. That was just a collection of dumb jackass shit. Well, but that's actually part of how I got sick in the first place, was doing all the dumb <laughs> jackass shit. Holy shit. There it is. Just like no, anyway. wearing a t-shirt like Midwinter. <laughs> Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah, no, I mean, I played it. Uh, I was big into it. I'm just playing music. because. And we're in the Hoenn region. Oh, oh Hoenn. yeah. Hoenn. You know what we'd be hoeing about. Hoenn and Hoenn. Yeah, Hoenn, or Hoenn and a Hoenn. controversial Hoenn. region. A controversial Why is region. it controversial? Uh, because a lot of people complain about the fact that there's a, it's a, like a series of islands. So for the most part, you have to kind of traverse via surfing. A little mm. sun and moony. Except people really you can't even <laughs> surf from those islands one to the other. <laughs> That's very true. The uh, Yeah, so the, the people... Ruby and Sapphire is considered by a lot of people to be the worst Whoa. installments in the series. I what don't personally subscribe to that, but uh, another part of Japan. Uh, everything, oh. the first four generations, the locations are all based in on different portions of Japan. It's only in oh, Generation okay. 5 that they move to other parts of the world. Yeah, 5 is... Um, for, no, 5 is America. Yeah, black and, and white then, is America. Yeah. Or France. North America, yeah, and then France, yeah, and then and yeah. then Hawaii, and then Hawaii, and then, and then England. England, yeah. Yep, very cool. Anyway, our first Pokemon is. All right, can you take a guess? It's a grass Fuck type. I... Yes, it is. is. It it's a grass type. Oh, yes, it is. Then Thank it's you. Um... wow. Thank you. <laughs> Taking risks over here. Thank uh, you. Trico. 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 I, 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 I am. I am. I am kind of stunned that we're doing a starter again. It just hit it's amazing. me that that's what we're doing. Yeah. Like, it's what amazing. The fuck? Mm-hmm. Pokemon um, 252, so come on down. There's, there's a couple reasons why Generation 3, I think, is not as beloved by people. One of them, as Tom brought up, is the way the island map is set up. The second one is, I think, for a lot of people, not... Um, it, for some people, the people that love Generation 3... It's their favorite Pokemon, but for everyone else, not a lot of people's favorite Pokemon. And it also mm. doesn't have a lot of new Pokemon. So there's kind of, there's not even 100 new Pokemon in this generation, if I remember correctly. Short season. Um, oh, wait. Uh, I could be wrong. This one might, this one actually might be more than the last one. And then longer season. Fourth, fourth gen. Diamond and Pearl <laughs> is the first one that's like below 100. Um, but Trico. Is probably the best of the new starters, I think, as far as design. Well, uh, Tom does. Tom, wow, Tom is. I know Tom is probably going to like the new fire starter, even though, like, okay, fine. Trico's first evolution isn't the best, like it's its main starter, but its final evolution, I think, is the best looking out of all of them. <laughs> of the starters, <laughs> I just found a pic a picture of it. What? Well, 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 Tom, t- Tom, do you want to like make a verbal comment, or are you just kind of going to look I'm around? I'm just trying and... to remember all of them in terms of uh, the... <laughs> right, the frog. He's holding up a sign that says, not a Yoshi. That's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little fat tail. Uh, you know, he sort of looks like a gecko. Um, mm. It becomes... Gordon Gek. Becomes a cool fighting sort of like bladed grass monster. Like I, I would say, he becomes the coolest looking of the starters. I, I, you know what? Now that I'm just kind of very quickly skimming through the final evolutions, I'm not going to disagree with you. But we'll get to that when we get to it. The the thing that people are not going to like about this generation, 
Alex, mm -hmm. you yes, particularly, for sure. because for you, some of these designs, you'd be like, oh, I've seen them, but now seeing them all together, this is when everyone was like, oh, they're starting to look like Digimon. Ooh. Well, okay, I can see that. Because this is when the second generation is still very similarly simple design, like the first, also but the third generation, you get a lot more angular, a lot more bipedal, and a lot more, like, a lot more design, a lot more shit Ooh. going on. on also, Pokemon. a lot of the Gen 2 Pokemon are leftover Gen 1 designs right. that they, they, they were up, made like, at the same time. Morning, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's, that's part of where that comes from. Gen 3, way more bipeds way more going on in the design and a lot more like angular shit. So when they look more humanoid and there's a lot more shit going on with them, suddenly you're like, well, these are just Digimon now. That's, that's Ugh. where like everyone, there was, that was like, I think the big backlash, but Trico's cool. Um, it's, it's a grass Pokemon. It's cute. I never pick the grass types. So I've actually, it's like one of those rare Pokemon that like I've caught, but I don't think I've ever used it, you know? Okay. Sure. It's like, I've used Chikorita before because I really like Chikorita, and I've, of course, used Bulbasaur because Bulbasaur rules. But I never bother with Trico because this generation is kind of okay. Um, okay. There is a better version that you can play of it okay. now. They came out with uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire on the 3DS. So there is a better version of the game that you can play. But that being said, um, Trico is small, green, bipedal reptilian Pokemon. It has yellow eyes with long, narrow pupils. And Trico's hands and feet each have three digits covered with tiny spikes. The spikes Digi allow it to Digimon. scale vertical walls with ease. <laughs> Digimon, yeah, th unbelievable already. This, this will be an interesting season because not only is it long, there are more Pokemon in Gen 3 than there were in Gen 2. But yeah. there aren't as many as there were in Gen 1. Right. So we will be having our season finale, like, kind of like the beginning of fall so like better 2023. Weather? So you're saying outdoor 2023? <laughs> Yeah. That date um, sounds. That sounds like a fake date. That sounds like a not yeah. real, Fall real date. I'm it now. We're doing an outdoor finale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Holy yeah, because shit. you know what, Dan. By that point, enough of us hopefully will be vaccinated. 2023. <laughs> we'll be up at first oh time. Oh my god. First time. Yeah. What's, no. what's, because it's still 2020 at the time of recording this. That sounds especially farther away than it is. <laughs> But I mean, only, 2021 is yeah. two days away. <laughs> it, it is. I know it is in my brain, so I know that that's not. But at the same time, it sounds like an impossibly far time because the last year felt like a decade. So the idea of several years from now seems like something I that mean, doesn't last, exist. In all fairness, this year started, it was 1995. So Yeah, that, that's what you're right, that is yeah. correct. Yep, right. um, let's let's get the hell out of the Pokemon and just get back to what, what everyone's Bye, been up Pokemon. to. Bye, Pokemon. Um, I guess I guess if we can we can uh, maybe for the post show we'll talk about our reactions to the one chip challenge because we're not going to do a game today. We are we did the one chip challenge since we last recorded, and we're gonna play that during the game segment of today's episode. So we in the post show we can talk about our reactions to that. So we don't Spoiler, spoil it. Now, one of us right? died during the recording of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. One of us is a non corporeal <laughs> being. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. We've actually uploaded their brain for, into the For cloud. Christmas, I got the rest of the group Chris's <laughs> like animated body that we can fully program and have him interact. It's great. I'm actually Therese. This is a deep fake layered oh, over me. Right. <laughs> oh, nice. Alive, Beautiful. Beautiful. A live deep fake. Oh man. Beautiful. I'm gonna I'm gonna record with Therese, by the way. Um we she beat the game. I watched the end of Bug what Snacks. Game? Oh, bug snacks. Okay. So she beat bug snacks. I watched the end of bug snacks. I'm gonna record a video with her talking about the end of this game. It was fucking nuts. It was so fucking crazy. So we're gonna put that on the Patreon and just as like go. a like a little bug snatch review. Um, All right, Alex, I have a question Anything? for you. Oh, sure, Christian. Go ahead. And then, uh, and then one of these boys could jump in or whatever. But I have a question. Candy, your your neighbor lady, your old lady mate, your your mistress. Yes. Um, yes. Are you gonna miss her? Yeah, actually, um, it's funny you bring her up because we haven't I haven't seen her in a bit and I went to go check the mail the other day and as I was going to check the mail, she saw me, I saw her and we kind of waved at each other and then she started walking over and I was like, oh no. She's like, <laughs> so, Andrew! Alan! Right, right, Alan. Andy. So, so we start talking, we start talking and she's just like, oh, I'm going to miss you guys. You're like, you guys are like my only friends here. Oh, you, you know, you were helping me. Oh no. You were helping me do all this stuff. She's going to um, die! Wait. 
And wait, wait. Well, why do you have she to get didn't so know your real name sorry, and sorry, you're sorry, her sorry. only friends? <laughs> what? She didn't know your real name and you're her only friends? I mean, well, she knows. I mean, she, whatever. It doesn't matter. Alex but didn't want to correct her. Yeah, I don't want to correct her. That's not her fault. And then, I mean, she knows a couple other people in the, you know, in the complex, but she's also moving. Ooh. She's moving. Um, she was talking to me about how she's moving to a elderly facility. Well, I don't want to say facility. I guess like a, but it's not assisted living. She was making that Institution. distinction. She was yeah. like, yeah, I it's like move. a dorm for old people. Yeah, I, yeah. She didn't want to say like she was debating with me like, should she go into assisted living or should she go into just like a place for the elderly? And she was like, I think she just wants to go to. She goes, there are some things I need help with, but other things I don't because I don't want to be in assisted living. And have the people I'm with be, like, so far gone that I can't make new friends. Yeah. But so she wants to be, like, in a place where she can make friends and people have the same interests and everything like else. So, yeah, or Mancala. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so she she's going to miss us. I'm going to miss her. Um, it's funny. She lived in the town. She used to live in the town over from where we're moving. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, I'm going to miss her. going to miss Candy. What's interesting is that we got a letter uh, Britt and I in our mailbox in the new house from the, our neighbors next door, and our neighbor's name is Candy. Shit you wow. not. Wait, Amazing. shit you not. Name? First name Candy. Shit you not. Last name Greatest. So, right. There are moments in life yeah. that really freak me out, and mm. I'm like, I'm not, uh, as we know, not a believer in God from the last three episodes. <laughs> Fuck. Tom, that was one of the weirdest things that ever came up on this <laughs> <Yeah>. show. <laughs> But yeah. Yeah. there are moments in life where I'm like, that's fucking weird. And right. that is fucking weird. It's not. That I mean, it's not that weird. It's a weird candy coincidence. Candy is it's, a stripper's name. Well, first no, of all, it's short, very, it's short for Candace. It's, yeah. It's short for Candace. It's, it's Candace. not like, and I know. It's not I, cinnamon. Who's calling that child it's, it's not cinnamon. I know, th- I know three different women named Candace. No way. Yes. I've never met anyone in my life. Never met anyone in my life called Candace or Candace. And now taking the Candace stage. Bergen. Candace. Candace Bergman. Candace Bergman. Candace Bergman. Candace Bergman. Candace Bergman. Candace I don't know. I don't know Candace Bergman personally. You don't? I've never met a candy in my life. I've, I've never met one of the candy candy Tom, that. Tom, they're all strangers with to, candy for Tom. Have you been to aisle 12 in the grocery store? Oh, well, you know, I know so much candy over there. You know, you two yeah. We're not talking about candy, because then I'm going to have to tell you about yeah. Candy Club and Candy Club rules. But it, then it, oh, this guy we're not getting club. into that today. So. Anyway. <laughs> we're not talking yeah. about games. That, that, yeah. is, that, that is bizarre. That's bizarre. That is cool. Bizarre. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, and then in true Christmas fashion, you know, I'll ask you guys kind of what you got, if, if anyone got anything at all, sans Dan. But, um... Whenever you mention you like something to people, mm-hmm. they really latch on to it. So I told my mom I like puzzles. What do you think was in the stocking stuffer? <laughs> what do you think was in the s- puzzles? Right? I tell everyone I like Lego. What do you think I got for Christmas? Oh, Lego. Which, you got Lego? What'd yeah, you get? what sets you get? Um, I got the uh, Arc, de, Arc de Triomphe Ooh. and the London Skyline. Ooh. And the London Skyline. And also my mom bought me Pirates of Barracuda Bay. Um, fun fact: I have it, and, yeah, per, and built it. But what's 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 a great silver How lining are you about this? Transporting that bad boy. What do you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> what's a good thing about this Pirates of Barracuda Bay thing, though, is that it's sold out, and my mom's boyfriend's son was trying to get it for his son, so Jeff bought it all for me. All worked great. out. Even Steven, just like Jerry Seinfeld. Great. Yeah. Well, you're selling him the set that you already. Yeah. Well, no, because he had. Remember, no, he had made that one me. already, and his mom gave him another yeah. one. My now, mom got it for had. me for oh, Christmas because she I didn't see. realize I already got it for myself. That's the pirate ship he's had. That's yeah. just been like floating around oh, his apartment. <laughs> okay. Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Yeah. When you said you'd already built it, I thought you meant like you, you got it, and you're like, "Oh my god, I got to build it. this thing." And you did. no, I, I have a I have a bunch of sets to build actually. When I when we move in the house, that I've uh, actually said I don't want to build any more Lego until Can I we come over and build move. Lego. I'll wear a you mask. You gotta bring your it's own set. Good. You gotta bring your own set. I don't like to like build sets together. It's no, mad. I don't like that either. Brooke likes. To yeah. So you build. Bu- yeah, I don't like to build sets together. So you Ooh. gotta you gotta bring your own set. <laughs> Actually, we have we have a tool. We have like a like a working station in the unfinished part of the basement that we could. So, so Alex's basement is gonna look like the basement in the Lego Movie, and he's gonna be like the dad that's like, Dude. "Don't touch yes. this." Yes. I think. Yes. I think what needs to happen is. 
Tom and Alex need to get the same set, and we have a leg off. Leg off. Leg well, off. I'm, I'm getting in on this as well, except unlike the two of you, I like to build with T because T no. likes T. T is no. really good at it because she's like, no. okay, I'm going to get you the yeah, parts but I'm a for the next page and right. organize See, no, them I don't for like you. That. And she hands them to me. So I'm just sitting there and just fucking building it. And yeah, she, she's half, like, here's your next piece. And I'm like, hell yeah, this is great. Fine. <laughs> yeah, we Fine. When, half when the Brooke fun. and I built the Nintendo uh, yeah. the NES, we did that. Where it was like I was organizing, she was building, right. and then we'd switch off. It did. I will tell you this. Half first. the fun for me is looking for the pieces. Don't ask me why. But it is. I get it. Half get the it. fun is it. looking for the pieces. And second, I'm a loner. I like single player games. I like single player puzzles. I like single player Lego. Leave me alone. It's my time. <laughs> he says you know? on his podcast it's he's done for five time. years. <laughs> it's my time. I mean, it's you're, my you're, time. You started this off kind of complain, se- seemingly complaining in classic tuna fashion of right. you know people really latching on to the, uh, the things that I enjoy, and yet here we are. You are. You're like, the moment I move in, I've got sets to go, you know, yeah. like, i got puzzles to solve. I'm very excited. All right, listen, if you've ever noticed, right, if you haven't caught on yet, uh-huh. 90% of my complaints are hypocritical. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no, no. Yeah. yeah, no. I know. I know this. It's all projection. Yeah. It's the world. Yeah. Alex wants to live in that world yeah. and be a part of that world, mm-hmm. and he's not. And so that's why part he complains about it. Part of your world. Danny boy, what's going on with you? What's the word? You watch anything? Do anything? Eat anything yummy? What's what's I new? I am incredibly tired. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, you know this this morning show is killing me, but it's almost over. Um, let's see. I haven't been doing anything crazy like the last few weeks. I mean, for for Christmas, I was home, ate some Chinese food, and that was it. Watched some mm. sports. I had Chinese no, food nothing on Christmas crazy. as well. Hmm. Nothing mm-hmm. crazy on my end. You had Chinese food on Christmas, too? Yes, because Brittany is Jewish, and we went to her house mm. for Christmas. That is a had Chinese ah, tradition. Hold on. Why would you go to her house for Christmas if she's Because they still Jewish? celebrate it. They still celebrate it. Oh, so it. They, they just do like a version of it? It's almost as if they have religion a, yeah. is a lie and bullshit. Right. I mean, it's a, it's and a, Christmas it's also a, like such a pagan. It's a yeah, Christmas it's is so a pagan. commercial so Saturnalia. I yeah. love the Saturnalia. Yeah. It's very good. Go it, look up Saturnalia. Yeah. It's, it's a true. good song by Dinosaur Jr. as well. Mm. Don't true. know it. I'll look it you up. The Dinosaur Jr. is it, named so after good. a reptile. It is named after Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Son. <laughs> Dinosaur Jr. Senior. Yeah, Dinosaur Senior's son, Dinosaur Junior. Right. Um, Classic. We made a duck. What do you mean you made a duck? No, I made I, a Wait, duck. you guys like physically made one? We made one. Together? We, nine months. Did you guys like nine months which later? One you, wait a second, hold on. Combined? Do you think a the duck gestation incubates period for nine for months? A duck is nine months? Yeah. What the fuck? I'm sorry, do you know about the incubation period for a duck? It's not Let's a month. I haven't it Googled it yet. Let's all guess. All right, I'm going to Google it. Everyone no, no, no. All right, I'll, I'll I'll guess. Guess. So, Tom, Tom, you're going with nine months? No, Tom. No, Tom I don't think months. that. So, then what is your guess? That it takes... you, you have to. All so right, he's fine, fine, Googling fine. it right guess, now. I'm not, I'm not touching. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, don't touch shit. My guess is that a duck baby from conception to birth, three and a half months. Three and a half months? I'm gonna yeah. go with listen, month. listen, Tom. Tom doesn't understand how the difference between mammals and non-mammals. That's fine, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a couple weeks to a month. Okay, a couple weeks. I to probably month. shouldn't do a range. So you're, so you're like thirty yeah, days. Four, I'll do four side. weeks. Four weeks. And Dan, how long do you think a duck uh, incubates? That's about where I was at. If, if we're going prices right rules, is I'll incubate go four the right word? A day. Or is it just no? Just just eight. Well, the okay, because they period. do the egg, go, and then you sit on the egg. I'm gonna go thirty um, days. Wow. And Alex, you went with 28 days? I guess I went with 28 <laughs> days, yeah. Um, are you Googling or are you guessing? He's scratching. No, I'm going to guess also. I would have also guessed a month, but since you both are right. guessing within a couple, I'm going to guess at least another week out. So I'll well, guess, what does this count? I'll guess this, five weeks. Is this them laying I'm the egg weeks. and then sitting I'm gonna on I'm going to guess six weeks. Look, Tom, you can Google gestation period for duck and we're going to get an answer. Yeah, I'm going right. to guess six weeks. Fine. Okay. 
Who's Google? Oh, we're gonna have egg on our face I'll in Google it nine right now. months. Delicious, delicious duck egg. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, wow. how is it any more than chicken? What I should have stuck. I should have stuck with. I should have stuck with five weeks when I first did. When I was like, <laughs> um, what is it? It's between four weeks and five weeks. Twenty-eight to thirty-five days. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Amazing. Imagine well, yeah, how big so would the duck be for it to be nine months? Also, how nine big is this months. egg? <laughs> this would be a huge egg. An ostrich. Yeah, ostrich. Yeah. But an ostrich is not a duck. <laughs> anyway, so well, we, Bro- Brooke, and, Brooke and I, Brooke and I had joked about. Having yoked like, duck. Oh, I said it first. I said it first. Well, no, I said it. What well, we both said it first in our own view because we're both on delay. <laughs> All right, you bunch of quacks. I want to hear about this duck. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, you know, because this is the first time like I haven't been home for Thanksgiving or Christmas, and you know the classic thing. Uh, I think I've talked about this on the podcast Ooh, before. The and it's your first holiday together living together with someone it is it is mm. and it's been fantastic you hear that it's been great <laughs> it's been so fa- it's been fantastic <laughs> yeah it's been great <laughs> that's, but that's um, of course the shout in the other room of someone that's definitely doing great <laughs> she's, she's not Tom's even never in telling this story <laughs> she's not even no but we, we joke story? get to the point <laughs> i was very excited to be fair i was kind of excited to uh, i was excited have... to hear this story okay 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 if you think right, we're sorry. talking about games on this podcast and not just the beginning of this right. story for the next three hours. <laughs> right, right. right. This, this whole about. next season is Tom trying to tell this story. <laughs> tell this story. Anyway, yeah. all right. I was very yeah. excited to... Go ahead. I was like, okay, now is an opportunity to do something different for Christmas. My parents, the meal is the same every year. It's the same right. every year. And because in England, turkey is the Christmas meat. Yeah, that you brought this uh, up last time, mm-hmm. right? The, we basically <laughs> just do Thanksgiving dinner twice every year, and it's the right. same shit. That's great, right? So I was very excited to <laughs> make this duck. Turns out, duck very similar to turkey in taste and texture, just smaller. I wonder why? Uh, <laughs> A lot fattier, yeah. Fattier uh, though, definitely. Right, it's fattier in areas, but. When you're just kind of pulling, like the a duck breast mm. is mm. is is a is a turkey breast. It may as well just be the same bird. Um, but we did that. I did mashed potatoes. We watched. Oh my god, we watched Love Actually. It was so good. I had a great Christmas. Have you never uh, seen that movie? I have. Okay. I have, but I've never seen it at Jojen. Christmas time. Baby Jojen. Oh yeah, Jojen. Uh, what's his last name in Game of Thrones? Reed. Jojen Reed. Reed. Yeah, he's in it. Baby Jojen Reed. Uh, are any other Game of Thrones people in it? I don't think anyone is. Obviously, no. Snape's in it. Just Obviously, Walking Dead, in yeah. It. I was going to yeah. Hans. Yeah Rick, yeah, Rick from The Walking Dead is in it. Fun. Brooke was like, he's English? And I'm like, you've seen this movie. You know this. And she's like, I forget right. every time. Uh, Brooke <laughs> got me this beautiful keyboard. It's very dope. Um, it Gorgeous. is... I, I, she, she basically was like, you, you don't like the keyboard you have now. And I was like, I don't like the keyboard I have now, (laughs) uh, because it's, uh, it's white. So it gets like the visible, like dirt and stuff. And then it also has this huge number pad on it and I never touch it. And, Mm. uh, I do. Oh, that's why I want to get rid of mine. So she got me this and it's great because it has. The keys are a little mushier, and it has an OLED display in the corner, mm. which you can have to run like a GIF, or you can have it programmed. Uh, right now, I have it programmed to show, to rotate through all of my computer's uh, different settings. So, like, it tells me my GPU's usage and stuff like this. But you can have it show like Discord messages, like someone What's messages the brand? on Discord. This is the Steel Series Apex Seven. It's uh, the brand that I have for my gaming headphones. Copy. How smash proof is it? Uh, I, I tell you what, it take a little bit of it, it take more damage than the last uh, thing that I had. But can you fuck on it, Rocat? Uh, no, it's well, it's much smaller. Than, like how many uh, keys pop out when you? Smash how many eggs the table? Can, you, can? How you, many ducks can you produce? Um, gosh, I could Ridiculous. say stuff about some of the Ridiculous. movies I watched, but I kind of don't really want to. Uh, Soul is one of the best movies <laughs> I've ever seen. I love it. What's so the movie? Much. Oh, Soul. 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 Oh, yeah, I, I wanted to watch it last night. We didn't get a chance. Soul. 
Uh, it yep. absolutely wrecked me. It's so good. It, it might be my you. favorite Pixar. Movie. Oh yeah, I was like weeping at the end of that movie. Oh my god, it's bad. really? It's bad. I boy. feel very differently about Soul. How do you like Did Inside Out? Did see, see Wonder Woman? I, I think no, Inside Out. I think uh, I think Inside Out is a much does a much better job of earning it. That's not that's um, not the. I don't. Where I'm, do you I rank Inside Out Inside in the pantheon out. of Pixar movies? Oh, here we go. Inside Out is like mid tier Pixar. Okay, so this is why Soul you don't like Soul that much. Below that, <laughs> they're very similar. In, in no, they are very this similar. This isn't. This isn't. I'm not saying you're wrong in your opinion. I'm just saying the people generally that love Inside Out are also the same people that love this movie. And the people that I, I really found liked Inside Out. But, but you said mid tier. Yeah, but the big, that's because Pixar top, has like right, fine, so Tom, many. S- I think Inside Tom, Out is fine. better than every other Pixar. Tom, you have to give it a number rating. No, nope. oh, oh, so I in, Inside Out is better than number rating. Toy Stories, hundred percent, hundred percent. Oh, I disagree with that for sure. Four Absolutely, one hundred percent. I mean, I can't, I can't recommend. start giving <laughs> numbers to these movies. That's like been a all right, Tom. What is Tom? What is your favorite Pixar movie then? Finding Nemo? No, no, no one's no, going to no, sue Nemo. you if you lie. It's not it's Nemo. You can say whatever you want. I mean, take a stab in the dark here. All right. I, I mean, I would probably say that the, the original Toy Story still yeah, is I would my agree. favorite picks. I think that's probably for me, too. Yeah. It's my favorite. Um, yeah. And then on the Wonder Woman side, Dan, I did see Wonder Woman. Did, and did you, Alex? No, I did not, but I don't care. You can ruin it. We're not going to ruin <laughs> it. Uh, I, it I ruins mean, maybe itself. Dan will. <laughs> uh, well, I haven't seen it yet, so... <laughs> So you guys hated it? I didn't hate it. It just has. I'll applause. tell you what. If Pedro Pascal <laughs> wasn't in this movie, it'd be a really bad film. I haven't liked but, a single DC movie, so there's nothing surprising about this. Yeah, no, that's yeah. the thing. That was the only thing that was redeemable about the first Wonder Woman. It was, it was like actually a good movie, which surprised everyone. Is it, it was fine. Uh, well, it was fine. It was a. It's it was fine. A, I, It was good as a as opposed to. I honestly think god awful. I don't know. I think true. Man of Steel is better <laughs> than is, that movie. No, Man of Steel is better than that movie. But considering the fact that right before Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad came <laughs> out, like it is a master. Well, and you had like Superman versus was it Batman versus Superman or whatever, which was also terrible. Not terrible. That's a oh, bad God, movie. So yeah. Bad. So like well, you had all these terrible about movies, and then that shit. one was like okay. And so you had expectations where this was going to be also okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Not quite. So I'm going to tell you two <laughs> things that I loved. Yes. Uh, I actually really loved The Americans. I know I'm late to the party, but oh, finished it. Thought it was great. It? Well done. Okay. I did. I thought it was. I thought it was really good. I How thought it had end? a great ending. Wrapped up well. You object. How did it end? Oh, how did I thought you said you object? I don't know. I how did it I, end? I, you I want me to I spoil it for you? Before. You want me to spoil it for you right now? Spoiler yeah, alert spoiler for the, the Americans. Americans. It's been off the air for a while. Spoiler alert: The Americans. Um, the oh FBI wait, no, no, no. So I'm gonna watch it. All right, forget it. Uh, the next thing we watched was season one of Fargo. L- fucking love that shit. We oh, finished wow. it in like two, three days. It was amazing. I loved it. Is that the Russo fantastic. brothers? Who does Fargo? Cohen. Cohen, Cohen brothers. Cohen brothers. Cohen brothers. I knew it was like some But this, But some they're brothers. not the ones who Cohen, made the sh- Cohen brothers. They're the, the ones. Movie. Some brothers. They're the they're movie. The they're exactly they're the, producers not the on the brothers. show. But the Noah. I think it's Noah Foley. I don't know his yeah, name it's Noah, exactly. Yeah, it's Noah Foley who did. Um, who did season one at least. And Legion. The TV show Legion. Yeah, and but we watched only season stuff. one, and from what I understand, Fargo each season is different. It is with different characters. Um, but season one, Billy Bob Thornton, Martin Freeman, Tom Hanks' son, Colin Hanks. Forgot his name for a second. Um, great, loved it. Thought it was fantastic. Season one of Fargo. The it's Russo brothers are working with the Fargo showrunner. That's for a, on a new show. Mm-hmm. That, that was that's what it was. So, uh, and if anyone's got any, you know. If any listeners got recommendations out there, always, always, uh, I just lost my train always of thought. Open. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's keep the train going on things that we love. We all have our top games of the year. hey Why don't we go ahead and jump into that? Sure. Let's well, do don't it. don't you know there. Open up my list. Do you guys? You guys did top five. Are you betcha? Top ten. Yeah, I, could not, you, I literally you, could not have done a top ten. I, 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 I can do a top ten, but I kept it to five since Dan. Had oh yeah, I kept it to five there. I kept it to five there. 
Wait, why why'd you go Irish? Also, second I don't know why favorite, he went Irish. Second yeah. favorite Pixar movie. He was doing a Fargo thing. Yeah. Second favorite Pixar movie. Yeah. Toy Story Incre- Three. Incredibles. Incredibles Ooh, is really good. Incredibles, That's probably like my pick. fourth or fifth. Fourth. Or maybe fifth. Monsters Inc. Pro- or maybe even oh, third. Oh, Monsters Inc. I don't know. Toy Story Monsters is my you? no. Toy Story is my third. Third. Yeah. Favorite Disney movie of all time: 101 Dalmatians, the animated version. What? Yep. Is it because you relate? <laughs> you relate to Cruella? Is that why? Wait, what? I'm gonna Bro, go with favorite... Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Alex has long. <laughs> long <laughs> okay, long okay, okay, yeah. okay. So okay. Disney movie of all time is 101 Dalmatians. That's the one. The you're animated going. version. No, yeah. I understand that you you're different. That, like, it, it makes it any different. <laughs> because that'll be like, oh, the animated version of 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> gotcha. Well, it's not the one with Glenn Close. Tell you that. Alex has Why? always wanted 101 Dalmatians. No, I think he right. wants to make a coat out of 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> no, yeah. Alex, Alex, Tuna Alex is has wanted a dog. The Cruella de Vil. No, wanted a Alex dog has wanted a dog for a very long time. He was so not allowed to have a dog growing up. Yo, yo, yo. He Tuna. was allowed to get a cat after begging for a long time. Then, after college, Alex wanted a dog so badly that when he was trying to ask his mom for one, he asked me to Photoshop a picture of Alex as a kid that he sent me with a dog yes. in it. To be like, wouldn't <laughs> this have been so it. nice? And so wouldn't I sent him a nice. photo. I did yeah. that Photoshop for you. <laughs> and then yeah. now you've Brooke, been in the apartment. Brooke, Brooke would, would like everyone to know that her favorite Disney movie of all time is Robin Hood. Uh, wow. The one. Also, Tuna, the fact yeah. that you want a dog, it's kind of serendipitous. Brooke's uncle's dog is having puppies. Oh no! We're, the 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 floors that we're getting get are your too dogs dark to have a dog spayed now. and neutered. You can't have a dog now. No, we can't have any pets. What? We're not All having right. pets. Right. As Alex move. only loves women. That's, that's never happened. Dogs. That's never happened. Well, that's, <laughs> that's the uh, the rules. Yeah, that's that's gonna break. So once there's once once the once there's uh, the key little is, tunas and they're begging well, for a puppy. I was saying suddenly you're going to be walking that dog in the freezing cold at like <laughs> six a.m. No, even better. Once you start thinking about having the kid, that's when you can convince her the dog will help us practice for when we have the kids. Oh yeah, mm. a starter child. Yeah, that's the millennial right. move. Is you get I have three starter right. children right now. So you can do that. <laughs> right, starter children. <laughs> um, um, all right. You want to go through it? Yeah, so we all have our games of the year. Last year we did that, and then we did a, a group one based on our top fives that we did. So we'll do yep. that together. Uh, let's start at the bottom. Um, the thing that, that this year made me realize was there's a handful of games that I had put off or started and then stopped because I just like couldn't get mm-hmm. in the headspace because of quarantine to like get into a deep narrative game. So a couple games like Ori, like I really wanted to fucking play Ori, and then I didn't. And, like, that would have been on this list. And I'm like, shit, I actually missed a lot of games I wanted to play. Um, so what is so, your fifth? What is your game in fifth place? So number five for mm-hmm. me this year mm-hmm. is going to be Golf mm-hmm. with Friends. I had a really good time <laughs> when we played Golf with Friends. Um, oh, shit. I, I thought it was a really fun game. I played it on PC. Huh. It was uh, Golf with Your Friends, right? Sorry, Golf with Your Friends. Yeah. Golf with Your Friends. Yeah. Um, the custom courses on the PC are really awesome. I just thought it was a really fun, simple multiplayer game during a sure. period of like sure. not good things that that like sure. in my ear. So for me, number five, golf with your friends. Okay. Um, for me, I didn't even consider that, but now I'm gonna put my fifth place game, Astros Playroom, was number five for me. Wow, number five. Mambo number, number five. five. I just loved it. I had a great time with it for the brief period I played it, but I loved almost every part of it. And I wish they made more levels. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Tom. Yeah. Or Dan. Dan, then Tom. Oh, right. Sorry. Forgot the podcast order. Uh, so I went, my number five was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Hell yeah. Oh. Good choice. It almost made my top five. Yeah, you're, I think, uh, Golf with your friends was like six or seven for me. Okay. Didn't I'm going to say right now, I didn't consider um, the Mario All-Star thing as like a real game that came out. I, and I, so. We know my, you don't like Mario games. Who? I huh. almost I almost gave, oh. <laughs> I almost put 3D All-Stars on my list based off of the yeah. back of the galaxy. 
<laughs> right. But I I refrained because I was like, I just I, I can't do it. I can't put it on the list Super when Super the games are not any different than they were. So yeah, yeah, that's fair. Seems stupid. And yeah, that's fair. I agree with that. Yeah. Tony, Tony Hawk's yeah. Pro Skater One and Two is a phenomenal remaster. Yeah. Um, what's and so. What's your five, Tom? Uh, Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone. Oh. I, oh I put, shit. I played. Uh, you can still a change your list to it if you need to. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> that's it. It's Alex chiseled it in stone. It's too late. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like his wedding list of all the groomsmen. It cannot I should be have, changed. I should have no sent how Alex many a list on my name. Of all the games that I wrote down that I played, because he's probably going to be like, oh, that's another one I forgot about. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely missed some, but whatever. <laughs> we'll stick with this. Anyway, I, I just think that it's <laughs> like, it's so weird that like Call of Duty after the year prior really fucking fumbling its Battle Royale, nailing it kind of with Warzone. Mm -hmm. And yep. it's a game that I have continuously returned to throughout the year. And even its new season uh, update with Black Ops has been really fun with this new Rebirth Island. Um, so, yeah, Warzone is my number five. Oh, I have to, That's a I good have to one. go back in. I haven't gone back in in a while. That's a good one. Um, Chris, number four. Number four for me is going to be Among Us. Mm. Among Us mm. is going to be... I mean, uh, you're going to see a theme with some of these. But Among Us is... We had so much fun playing that game. Um, it was again, like, I mean, I, I don't know if I would say like, like these are my five top games of the year. I don't know if I'd say like, if you reviewed these games, I think these, like if I gave all of these games a review, I don't know if I would say these are the best games, but these are the games that I had the most fun with. And like among us was one of the most fun times I've had in a while playing games. I gotta, I gotta, and playing also like with our discord, our listeners, like with that new map that's coming out. Also, it's going to be on Game Pass, by the way. They just announced Among Us Game Pass on Xbox. Um, so I'm kind of excited for that. We'll have to yeah. try out that. I feel like people will actually be down to do the new ship as well. Sure. So I'm excited for that. So Among Us coming in number four. Well, my list is totally fucked. <laughs> um, but I put, I put as number four Animal Crossing at yeah. this point. Yeah. For me. But what's missing from, I'm going to just preview it right now, missing from my list completely, for whatever reason, is Among Us and Fall Guys. Yeah. So, uh, I honestly oops. forgot about Fall Guys till he said Among Us. And it's just like, changed my list. Yeah. You play it on stream, <laughs> like, all the time. I know. I don't know how I forgot it came out this year. <laughs> I was just looking at, like, yeah. a, a site that, like, listed all the games that came out, and I guess I just didn't see it. Uh, that's fair. Oh, There's a lot of games. Delirious. It was pre-nap. Yeah. And Dan, All right. my number four is Call of Duty Warzone. So there it is. Uh, same, same idea. It's just I mean, we played hours of it with. I played it yep. with different groups of friends. Yeah, it's it's a solid. It's good. Solid, solid game. Solid choice. Thomas, my number four is Fall Guys. Hmm. Um, I think that um, it is awesome and fun, <laughs> and will always. <laughs> If any if you got, if any of you is like, hey, let's play some Fall Guys, like I'm gonna be down for it. Right, I also did course. jump into the uh, new winter season for uh, between the last time we recorded, and I think that it was it was cool because I was like, oh, there's there's actually a lot of ideas here that uh, change up the formula mm -hmm. from the previous stages. And the end, there's quite a few that are like race to the end, but like they really ratchet up <laughs> yeah. the intensity and the difficulty. And uh, so I'm, re I'm really looking forward to how this game kind of, this game flourishing in next year. And uh, yeah, and I mean, we were playing it so much in that first like month. Yeah, I might, I might do a Fall Guys stream on New Year's. I don't know, but I might. Really just kind of depends. I'm very excited. Um, so my, my third game, three. my third we'll game. We'll find out if he did or not when this comes out. <laughs> true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true because it will have happened at that point. Um, yep. so my third game was actually really tough to pick because I kind of went back and forth on a lot of games here and I weirdly have a number of games I would have slotted in here, but also wouldn't have kicked out the ones below it. 
because they all sort of satisfy similarly. Um, but I'm putting for number three this year, Assassin's Creed Valhalla as my number three wow. game of the year. Wow. Okay, but I know we're going to go into a little bit oh, more. Oh, I have a lot to say about this game. <laughs> you have a lot to say. I have a lot to say shit. about this game. I'm not right. going to talk as so much we'll as I could, just, but yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll just move on then. Uh, my number three is Ori uh, and the Will of the Wisps. <sighs> God, that game looked so beautiful. And on the Xbox Series X, apparently, it'll p- play at like 5K and then down sample. Hmm. Like 120 frames per second, it'll also play. Like I, I'm so excited to play it now on the new system. Um, yeah. So I guess it's cool I missed out, but I'm sure mine would have been on there. That's awesome. Yep. You did yep. you 100 percent it? Three. Yes. Have you gone back and played the first one? No. Oh. The plan was to. Yeah. But then I didn't. Well, it's on Game Pass. You can do whatever you want. Thank you very much, Daniel. <laughs> Uh, I uh, again, it's like a retread because we've already mentioned it. Uh, Astro's Playroom is my number three. Nice. Ooh. I I enjoyed the game. It's one of the few games I've actually finished. <laughs> Mainly because yeah. it's so short. But uh, right, it, it did a lot of cool right. things. A little frustrating at times, but it it was meant to show off the new system's abilities, and it did that. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Tom made it back just in time. Tom, you Give agree, us right? Three, please. Uh, my number three is Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, okay. I think that it's very interesting as more and more games do this kind of not a DLC thing, but it is, it's a standalone game, but it's shorter and it's more of a mini adventure. I think that for the most part, it worked with Miles Morales. Um, I think there are some character decisions that are kind of are hurried because it's a eight it's a eight hour long experience and so it didn't quite impact me the, the way that the 2018 spider-man did but visually i mean just such an impressive game and playing as miles uh with his venom abilities was a lot of fun and so i think that it's it's an interesting template for where triple a games could go in these kind of small adventures and so yeah that's my number three. Hell yeah uh my number two is going to be fall guys ultimate knockout i love this game oh, i started a podcast around it shortly which i may or may not bring back at some point which i, I plan on doing I a stream this is going to be a number one uh, I thought about it. I debated it for a while, but ultimately, as much as I love this game and I've played so much of it, and I've probably had more fun playing this game than any other game this year, and I'm going to continue to play this game. Uh, this is like the first battle royale I will like be playing for the foreseeable refu- future, or like royale style elimination game that I'll be playing for the foreseeable future. Um, it didn't define the year of games in the way like it. it it was a game that I've always wanted, which was awesome. But my number one is not going to be Fall Guys. Well, I be, well, well I'll, talk, <laughs> I'll talk about that next, which will explain why I didn't pick it. You're not it. putting it at two end one? No, I wish. Uh, I right. love that game, though. It's so good. And Tom is right. Like, the winter stuff has added a lot. And I'm really pumped for whatever um, they do in the I'm midseason. I'm interested to see winter. what your number one is going to be. So, and Tom, um, I don't know if you heard, but I had Assassin's Creed Valhalla as number three. I did. I know what his number one is already. Uh, well, we'll, we'll, everyone well, I mean, will I'm not going to spoil it. Wait, we'll get there. But I can't guess it. Alex? Right now, I guess. Um, it's going to be Clubhouse Pokemon Games. Co- 51. Clubhouse. Pokemon didn't come out this year, did it? <laughs> no. No. Pokemon? No, okay. Yeah, I was like, did I miss something? Uh, <laughs> That's my number two did game. not come out this year. <laughs> Who didn't? Death Stranding. Said Death Stranding also did not come out this year. Oh. Uh, my number two game is The Last of Us Part Two. No surprise there. I'm I'm surprised because I thought this would be your number one. No, I mean, oh, you well, can't tell I can what now, one now is I can now. guess what your number one is. Yeah, <laughs> my number one is. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Last of Us Part Two. I had a great time with it. It would have been number one if a recent release didn't recently release. So um, you know, uh, I had a great time with it. I didn't see a lot of issues with it that other people did. Um, I had a great time. So, there you go. Hell yeah. Dan, your number two game of the year. Uh, it was a game that, I, I guess, kept me busy and kind of distracted for the first 
two or three months of the pandemic. Sure. When we were just all home. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Wow. Hell yeah. Okay. Like, that was a game, like, I was checking in daily. Like, it was a part of my routine for, like, at least three or four months. So. Mm, yeah. Yep. Definitely. Awesome. Tom? Um, my number two is Astro's Playroom. I... What? I thought that it, uh... I thought that it was magical in the sense <laughs> that it... Yeah, I, I, I think it's not only an amazing platformer that probably is a... I just... I remember sitting there and just thinking, this is a perfect video game. It, it It's perfect in its length. Not perfect it, enough for number one, though. Well, not perfect enough for number one. Because it was more of a I four out of ten, perfect game. I have, I have, I have an atta- I have an attachment and an emotional like story resonance with my number one, but you know, Ash's oh, playroom in is. terms of yeah, I wonder what, I wonder what it is. Uh, in terms of <laughs> gameplay, in terms of the way that it did implement the Dual Shock, uh, sorry, the Dual Sense controller, and ma- as Dan had pointed out when he was talking yeah. about it, and making it like, oh my god, this is a new, uh, a, the, you know, this is next gen. Um, and then I also have such an attachment to PlayStation, and I've owned almost every console except for the first one, uh, and owning all of the peripherals and seeing them like, oh my god, they they've made they've made the fucking D tap that added extra controllers and artifact that I can intricately look at, and you know, finding all those artifacts mm. was such a delight. Um, so I I think that. It's a mass. I think Asher's Playroom is a masterpiece, and so uh, and a perfect video game, and so it's my number two. That was very close to my number five. That's very close. <laughs> that 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 and that Rogue Squadron were. I, I was going. I was thinking about for, Star Wars Squadrons was yeah. also in my top five too. And it's uh, definitely in my top ten. And Monster Train. And, and I'm uh, waiting with bated breath here. Chris's number one game, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing New Horizons, number one game of the year. Uh, it uh, It's the game I never thought I would mm. care about as much as I did. Like, Fall Guys is the game I've always wanted, and it was, like, wish fulfillment, and it's everything mm-hmm. I ever wanted, and I love it, mm-hmm. and I see how it's just going to get better and better. But Animal Crossing New Horizons okay. did something for did something. the world that I don't think anyone expected. It came out at the perfect time, in the perfect place. It was, like... I mean, even forget just our Discord, which was incredible. Like the fucking, we got stocks. We got like people, yo, Reds yeah. in our village, come get your like museum stuff. Anyone have this fish? Like the 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 Discord that we had, uh, the messages between us, messages between, yeah. between me and my friends. Oh, just like Teresa and I at home, she'd be like, oh, I saw Cranston today. He was like not in a good mood. But Megan came over and she gave me a gift. And I was like, oh shit, I'm going to have to go check in with them. Like talking about them like right. they're our real friends for like months, mm. like when we couldn't even go out and see people. Like yeah. this game offered me like a weird level of like normality and sanity that I so mm. desperately needed. And it was also just like all of the little things. Like a lot of people, yeah, you can say, I wish the game had more you can do in it. And I wish like you didn't have to like wait for so many things. But because you had to, it gave me something to do that every time mm. I did it, it was always, like, entertaining. And, like, we even did, like, an RPG in it. Like, there was fun yeah. shit to do in that game. And regardless of, like, if by the time I was done with it, I was like, well, I'm done with this. Like, I have nothing left to do. That came after, like, well over 100 hours of gameplay. Yeah, like, there was, like, a right. way more than 100 hours. When the only thing we would talk about is like how you were torturing one of your island members to try to get them. Oh, leave. fucking that motherfucker! <laughs> that <laughs> fucking oh, hippo, 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 yeah. hippo! Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> hippo was the worst. And then the stonk market guys. I remember, like, I would be so excited yeah, on like someday. Saturday night. Like, I'd be yeah. like, "All right, I'm waking up tomorrow morning, and I'm sending, I'm shooting out messages. I'm gonna have like a window in the morning to go to someone else's island, like." on the east coast before they like she arrives on my island and then like i was like texting people like i'm leaving my island open you gotta get in here and then like i would have like an island filled with fucking turnips like i just got 13 million fucking bells from this it was just that stuff was so cool man that was so much fun so that has to be my game of the year has to be all right then uh my game of the year is assassin's creed valhalla 
I am completely addicted to this game. <laughs> I think I have 67 hours in it right now. Have you left um, Iceland yet? Or sorry, Norway. <laughs> Norway. Yeah, I've left Norway. I'm not even I think I'm like halfway through the story though. Like there are so many places I still haven't explored, but I I'm like 100%ing each area or trying to before I move on and getting as much ore and treasure chests, even the treasure chests that aren't part of the wealth um meter. To like mm. up my ore and leather so that I can upgrade my shit. Um, anyway, uh, this game my... is like the perfect mm. game for me. For me, mm. it hits every single like dopamine pleasure center for me. Like re you know reward uh, the same way that Odyssey did. The same way that Odyssey blew me away with it. it like how detailed the the world was. This game, like for me, give me a gl like just give me a glider the way the Breath of the Wild has a glider, and I would say this is like Immortals one of my Phoenix, favorite right? games ever. <laughs> I mean, it's incre I, I just think Assassin's Creed. It's, like I love the storyline in each little area I'm going to. Um, I like a lot of the side quests. I like the collectibles. I like. I, I just love these games. Like the Odyssey and Valhalla for me are, are doing it for me, and the fact that we get to like drink a little potion and go and you know be in norse mythology mythos mm -hmm. and you get to like play that aspect of the game i'm thinking have a whole game based on this like i would play the shit out of this yeah, this is awesome we're, we're going to talk about and, that right after this because i have again, to talk about this game all right and um, again now the i last thing, stop tom the last thing <laughs> i will say that assassin's creed <laughs> he's got to get it i out. will say this let him finish Tom. i have to say this i have to say this I really think that they could do an amazing Game of Thrones game. Uh, like, yeah, I totally agree. They could make Game of Thrones, Assassin's Creed, Game of Thrones, like it, as like offshoot special project, like side thing. I, I thought about it it's the entire time. Perfect I was playing for it. that. You could literally make Westeros in a. They would do such a fucking great job. They, they would. I, I think it would. I think it would outsell. All this other shit. If they could redo <laughs> Westeros in Assassin's Creed, like texture, whatever, looking like this, holy fuck! Like you would instead of obviously um, instead of being part of the ancient ones or whatever the order, what is it called? I forget what it's called. But you could you could be part of the faceless men. Like honestly, come on, people. That's it. Now say what you want to say. I was just going to ask, is this your favorite Assassin's Creed ever? Like, do you prefer this to... Yeah, I think it is. Oh, do I prefer... Okay. I think I might prefer the combat and everything to... A lot of things I prefer with this game over Odyssey. The only thing I prefer with Odyssey is the color in Odyssey. Just, mm -hmm. the, just the location. I okay. think for me, Odyssey mm -hmm. is just more beautiful. I think the, the map was more beautiful. Um, and I just think that ancient... Uh, air, you know, Peloponnesian Pol Wars, Greece, the ancient cities are much more beautiful than the wood, quote unquote, dark ages look. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but definitely. Other than that, other than that, other than the look, which has nothing to do with anything the developers did, it just has to do with the time of you know of history. Um, for me, but this game is definitely better than Odyssey. So. Yeah, it's interesting because I, I I think that and the other the other element is obviously the main character. I think that Cassandra, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I never played as Alexios, but I think Cassandra's a, a, a bit more of a dynamic character than Eivor. But that being said, yeah, I agree with that too. Eivor becomes a kind of fly on the wall for all of these really interesting stories. Yeah. Uh, like the Oswald story in... Yeah, um, I like the Oswald dude, story. Dude, the yeah. Oswald's fucking story was so good. And so yeah. I just think that even though I might not like Eivor as much as I liked Cassandra, I think that mm -hmm. the stories that they're getting involved in, I, I prefer to what's an Odyssey. And I think yep. this... Yeah. 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 Great game. All right. Well, Chris has got a lot to say, so we'll, we'll, we'll pick it back that. up. But Dan's number one... Game Number of the year. Game of the year. Uh, I'm going Fall Guys. Hell yeah! I, just, uh, I mean, it's, it's just like I wait. What play was your game of the year before you all day and it doesn't get old? Mm -hmm. What was your game of the year before you remembered Fall Guys? Uh, Animal Crossing. I basically okay. moved it. I just I literally moved everything. You moved it around. Down and then put one in the front. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm, right. I went back and go. forth on it too, but I was like. 
Animal Crossing was just like something that's never existed yeah. before. Whereas Fall Something Guys special. was like this great game. It's fucking and Tom, I, okay, I wonder what this is going to be. Oh, it's going to be uh, Monster Train. Cyberpunk 2070. Lonely Mountain oh, Downhill. Yeah. Remember that game? It's, it's, yeah. a, it's, yeah. it's absolutely not Cyberpunk. Uh, <laughs> cyberpunk that's right <laughs> it's absolutely not cyberpunk although i am still playing that and and enjoying my time with it no uh, it is well i gave it a six out of ten uh <laughs> on digitaltrends.com forward slash uh, gaming uh the last of it was <laughs> generous i almost gave it a five uh the last of us part two is a game that really earns the oh. brutality that it puts There's you that through. There's that verb again. What? Earn? Earns. Yeah. Earns. It earns it. It earns it. You know, we we talked about it in our in our spoiler ca- in our spoiler uh, ramblings. Um, you know, the game changes halfway through, and a lot of people, yeah, specifically incels, got put off <laughs> by by that fact. And what is an incel again? Involuntarily celibate. <laughs> also a word that's been banned on Patreon. twitch patreon.com oh forward slash God. forward slash unright podcast to see tuna's reaction to learning what an insult is. hashtag you can't Holy say that on twitch shit Wait, I can't believe you wow. can't. It's not even a slur. They call themselves that. Yeah. What the fuck? Or simp. You can't say simp either. Well, s- what? Oh my Why? God. Whatever. Wow. They're banned. Okay. Anyway. Because the people that run Twitch are incels and simps. That's why. Oh. <laughs> Tom. Shot fired. Anyway. Anyway. Um, I think. <laughs> By I the think- way, can I complete the definition? Because Urban Dictionary, it's great. <laughs> go go for it. Go for it. So, uh, of course, there's what you said, and then it goes on to say, a frustrated virgin who feels as if all if the world owes them sex, a self-described incel is highly, unli- <laughs> is highly likely to blame their virginity on the other 6,999,999,999 people on the planet, rather than consider that maybe the problem is inward. That's fucking mm. funny. Um, fucking Chad. Have, see- have you seen that Tim Pool video where he's like, He's complaining about, or, or he's like saying, well, the reason that women aren't getting married is because they're becoming more individual. And then he goes on to explain, he's like, but I do find it weird that I'm 34 and I'm single and my dad had two kids by the time I'm 27. But you know what the problem is? It's not me. Well, I, I don't <laughs> know why you do this it. to yourself, why you watch these things. Don't Just don't watch these things. I didn't watch it. It just came up on the internet. It just came up. Oh, it was a clip, and I was like, this is the funniest fucking thing. This guy it's truly wild. believes he's not the problem. Anyway, anyway, I think that with what Last, the Last of Us Part 2 does, I think it's incredibly unique uh, with the way that its story shifts, the gameplay shifts, and mm. the way it makes us care about these characters who we fucking hate in the beginning right. of the game yeah i agree um and i think it's a masterpiece in storytelling that outshines the first one and i didn't think that was possible so it's my number one. Oh okay. yeah so where are we going from here christian i just, I just need to talk about assassin's creed valhalla um right. so i'm i'm gonna Do begin a new yeah. reoccurring segment of mine where i'll be reviewing games and giving them a grading i have my own grading system here um and i will how often be, is this segment going to i'm going to be, be revealing my grading system which i do in photoshop uh just because why not um so i'm just going to share some this of the five <laughs> higher than nine in your rating system. what so how often are we going to be seeing this how often are you going to be reviewing edit, uh, uh, we'll find out we'll say uh mm. so i'm going to okay. share my screen at least once a year here. at least uh, once <laughs> let's see once a year go to <laughs> just once. Go to photoshop share it. there we go great all right oh. so <laughs> Fuck all right, so this is going to be my grading system from now on because we all know how arbitrary, uh, you know, point values are for grading. So we're going with the classic right. uh, Roy G. Biv spectrum. We're going to go with the, the visible light spectrum. Um, basically, red is bad. You know, you get, you get a failing mark. Red is going to be bad. So infrared, mm. any game that is just awful and bad, it's just we're not going to bother assigning it to the, vi- the visible light spectrum. It's only games that are worth touching. 
<laughs> so, okay. so, so, like, we're di- Tom's Digital Trends, like, has a, a similar kind of value, but then you have this, like, you know, it, so this is, like, if it goes into infrared, it's, like, it doesn't matter if it's better or worse. It doesn't matter how far down the infrared spectrum it is. When I it's, saw it's, infrared, it's not visible. It you shouldn't pay attention to it. Ultraviolet, <laughs> on the other end of the spectrum, <laughs> is so good that mm. it, it's, it's, it's so strong. It's, it's, the wavelength is so minuscule that it's essentially near impossible to have an ultraviolet game. But if anything does mm. reach that, again, similar to infrared, it's like there is no, no grading value system there. And then, and then amongst it, the closer you get to, to the violet side of the spectrum, the better it's going to be. We're going to go back to this. So uh, I'm just going <laughs> to drop the, the share screen for a moment. But I, I just need you to understand uh-huh. where, where this is... Um, yeah, we got it. Gonna be. So Assassin's Creed Valhalla for me is a game I've had a lot of trouble with this brand because uh-huh. I always felt like their marketing parkour, but there's no jump. was incongruent with the game. And so I've while playing the game, I find the game is sometimes incongruent with the game as well. But that being said, the game is so fucking massive and does so many friggin' things that for every mm-hmm. one thing that I'm like, well, this doesn't really work. This is clunky. This doesn't actually satisfy the way it should. There's two or three other things that do mm-hmm. really well. So then it's like, mm-hmm. well, I guess I'm fine with that because this other part of it works really well. And it's doing, it's do, it's, I honestly believe that this is a game that's too big. Like, it's too large. They have too many people, like, making this game. It's too large. It probably... Ha- they definitely have, like, some level of... Like, it just... It feels like something that should not exist in the form that it does and how quickly and rapidly they're able to put these out. So I just want to break down the game quickly into a couple different parts. The first would be the world. The world is fucking gigantic. And the question I have is, yes. does the world need to be this big? Could it be 20% smaller? <laughs> Why, why 20%? Could, because I fe- everything, because I, while playing the game, and I feel like this comes into basically every part of this, the game. From Odyssey to this. <laughs> well, that, and, that, and that might be why when I touched Odyssey, I'm like, this feels like it, like a waste of my time. Because I'm, I'm really curious if I would like the previous Assassin's Creed, or if this is the first one that I would actually really like. Um, but it, everything, it feels like they tried to do so much that that's why they probably dropped the ball in execution in places that keep it, for me at least, from being like an almost perfect game. And there's enough of those like ball drops where I'm like, well, now it's like, it's a very good game. It was my third favorite game of the year so far. I've put about 20 hours into the game at this point. I probably have at least another 20 hours to go in this game. I'm not going to 100% it. And it's because there's too many things that I eventually am going to feel tired from. I can tell and just, it's not satisfying enough. So um, exploring the world, amazing. Why? Because visually... It's fucking astounding. It's yeah. unbelievable how good this game looks. The level of detail is incredible. Every time I get on the top of one of those things and I synchronize and I'm going around the world, I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> this is so good. But then two of the other things for exploring the aspect of the world, not so great. Again, mobility in this game is still not good. Tom, I will agree that there is a little bit more to the game it's not completely on rails in the way that I would have described it before. You do have to do a little bit of like button pressing when you're moving around. But at no point when I scale a mountain in this game, does it feel like I achieve something like the way when you scale a wall or a mountain wall into, or a mountain breath, into of, the, breath of the wild. Mm-hmm. Um, and that to me, I think, is like a huge loss because every time you have to go to one of those, it's a little bit less satisfying now that I've done it a bunch and just partially, mm-hmm. and it's starting to feel a little bit more like work every time. Whereas at first it was like this like grand experience. And now I'm like, well, mechanically this is so basic that I know I will get to the top of this every time. I won't screw it up once. I won't die. I can just run by anything that I run into and I can get to the top of this. And now it's just a visual thing. And as I see more and more of the land, I kind of am knowing like it, it's, it feels too surface level. So that's like, this is where I'm saying like the execution I think falls apart because they built this perfect world, but then they didn't make the part where like 
the achievement of climbing into this, this peak or on top of this church or going out into this ledge isn't the game. Like the, the achievement is like you, you ticked it off on the map, which like that's that, that leaves me feeling hollow in a way where like with Zelda, I was like, I might not get to the top of this. Like it, there might be a weather element that I'll run into. I might run out of stamina. I might try to do it too fast and then I'm going to have to start over. I might have to try one or two different paths. This path I'm on might not actually work. Whereas with Assassin's Creed, I have yet to be like, I'm going to get on this wall and hold up and I might have to push left once, but like otherwise I'm just going to go straight up the whole time. And it, it was, it's, it's without fail. So that mm-hmm. I think that takes away from it. And then I, I find that is the same theme throughout the whole game. Because I don't know if you had this, you go to enter a building, you're like, I need to get in here, right? And like, it's one of those buildings that has like the top triangle cut out. So you can kind of like mm-hmm. sneak in through that top window. Mm-hmm. Um, they take too much control away from the player so that you don't have to focus on mobility things that when you do have to try and control your player in like a precise way, you can't do it. It's like the A button both allows you to descend and ascend and the B button allows you to descend. But then like when you're hanging over the ledge or you're hanging below the entrance, sometimes if you press A and up, you'll just jump <laughs> up onto the top ledge. But other times you will go inside. Welcome and to the That's, misery of yeah. playing an Assassin's Creed game that has plagued the, game, the series since. Yeah, but this fair. is what I'm saying. This it feels like a game <laughs> where they've added more and more and more to it. Yeah. And they haven't stopped and gone back to the core controls and mechanics of the game. And I feel like it's it's a direction problem and it's an execution problem. And I think both of them can be solved if the games were smaller because then they could spend more time on making sure. It's like there are so many scenes where the voice acting is all good, but it all feels clunky because it's very clear that the voice actors, they're not in the same room together and they're not with the same directors because I'll watch three different characters all pronounce places completely differently and i'm like what are you doing these like it's fine it's fine if you want to be like well the the englishman and you know and the danes are going to pronounce it differently but avor <laughs> avor and sigrid should pronounce shit the exact same way and they, they weren't even in the same ballpark plenty of times like so then suddenly i'm like watching what should be a good story because the writing was interesting but it's like mm. and then it's same thing with art world's beautiful right but then they go Mm -hmm. i think they go for too realistic on the people and then you run into uncanny valley it's like a recent star wars thing where the top lips not moving on the characters when they're talking and i'm like now we're kind of like i feel like they they need to be a little bit more stylistic with things so um fighting the controls are weird they don't want you to have like a weapon switching button right so if you have a bow and arrow that uh what is it the is it the hunters one the one that's always zoomed in which is the one that's always zoomed in predator predator so that one's always zoomed in and then you want to use i fucking hate it so (laughs) then you want to use your ability you have to hold down the right trigger but then Mm. that fires the bow so how do you use your predator ability like there should just be i I just i don't even use the light or the predator but this is my point is like they they're the game it's a game that does so many things and mm-hmm. it gets more than enough of them correct. And it does them mm-hmm. so well that all the other things that are actually important, you're able to like kind of give it a pass. But I feel like yeah. the more I play this game, okay. I'm just like, like it, it's, it's a little less. I don't think Can I'll I... ever turn the corner and be like, I now am like disliking and not enjoying the game. But I sure. am starting to do less side quests and start to do more of the main mission because I don't want to get to the point where I'm like kind of done with the game before I finish it. Right. Whereas okay. at the beginning, I was just like, Are, I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to go to that one. I'm going to go to this do, one. And I'm do, like, you, mm. uh, do, do you have more to say or can I? Can I no, that, that, is, that is my complete picture. That's your complete picture. So I would agree with you. I think that with respect to climbing, I think the climbing, I think that the, um, the whole point of reaching the synchronization points is pointless because you're right there is i could just press up and x and i will get to the top no i matter am what. I will, so glad I never, there are fewer of them in this game of those right before. exactly Thank there, there are were more that i yeah yeah there are more <laughs> there i think way that more I, I think past that, games. okay 
I think that there are a couple of things in this game that we can, I think that they're just holdovers and they're just staying in the game because they've been in there forever and it's time to let it go. This mm-hmm. game has evolved mm-hmm. now and yep. there are, there are a lot of things with this game that we don't need anymore. You don't need like the parkour isn't parkour. It's just holding forward. Like you, like, can we, can we get to a point where we're playing an Assassin's Creed game and there is a jump button and we are jumping from things. And you are able to actually try to jump the way that Mario jumps or another character jumps instead of just holding forward. And he does, you know, just do the jump. Um, I agree with you that I wish that there was a little bit more direction with respect to the dialogue between characters, because I think you're right. I think you can totally tell when two actors are not in the same room with each other. And it kind of does take you out of it a little bit. Um, With respect to how big the game is, I appreciate how big the game is because I feel like or how big the map is, because then I appreciate how a grand of an area this is and how grand of a story and how grand of an impact I'm having. I love um, it. I love it. I don't dislike it. I just, I right. part of me sees how much the game does, and I'm like, I wonder yeah. if they could have just cut some of the stories, some of the world, no, I, some I, of the things, I, and then made yeah. everything more polished. I agree with you. I would say yes, and I would say that there are some repetitive parts. I think they tried really hard, from what I can tell, to not have each story be the exact same thing like raid a village, kill the guy, go on to the next thing, raid yeah. a village, kill the guy. Um, I think they did that really well, but I agree with you. I just think there are ho- some things that are holdovers from previous games that they sh- it's time to let go. It doesn't yeah, need I, to be this anymore. Yeah, I um, I, uh, two points that I'm going to build off of that. The first being the, um, I think that this game does the, you have to make a decision and it feels very impactful as to what choice you're making. So one of the Mm -hmm. first being you have to accuse a group of people. Like there are three people who could be um, traitors to the cause. I think it's kind of obvious as to who is the traitor. I mean, who knows? I don't know. But, but it's, it, it has ramifications, you know, for through the game. And then there's, there's there's other things like that where I really think that like the story beats and the choices that it presents to you are really solid. And then this is something I wrote in my review where I was like, it's really weird that they when they were talking about the game, if you look at some of the interviews they were doing about this game, how they were like, yeah, we're returning to some of the roots of Assassin's Creed, where I'm like, those are the worst aspects of this game. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like the fucking right. forget stealth. Go. Forget it. Just put, I I understand that it's it's here and I know, cool. I use There's it a tool. So much less. That 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 I I'm not saying get rid of it in the sense where just get rid of um, the parts where like I have to put the cloak on and I walk have slowly. To do it. Like yes. allow me oh allow me to sneak God. up on someone, but because I'm able to just walk around like a person. Don't make me put the cloak on and not run right. into anyone and not like look Agreed. at people like, like that. Right. Like like keep the good part. Get rid of the trash. Like why the fuck yeah. is there a horse that I can't use a sword on? How come I, I can only use a bow and arrow? Yeah, How come like I, I can only people? use the weapon that takes two hands <laughs> yeah. and not the weapon right. that takes one hand when I'm on the horse? What the hell right. is that? What is that? I don't understand. <laughs> How come I have a raven that, for yeah. some reason, can only fly, like, 200 feet above everything? Are they worried I'll get too much detail if I can, like, fly the raven closer and, like, change its, it, its like, lower it to the ground? Because they also give me a tool that literally is just, like, radar. So, like, like... It, right. Like so what is what is the point with that? It's just it's weird. It just feels like there's well, the game is that, so big. Yeah. It the would game's have been so big interesting if you had played they don't Odyssey talk to each other. any kind of long Yeah, way this would have been because... a good upgrade for Odyssey. <laughs> I think you should get rid of there's a bunch of things that like I wish they didn't hand again, they they like too much hand holding. I mean, unless I could turn this off, I don't even know, maybe I can. But on the map it shows me where every single like wealth and and artifact yeah, and yeah. everything is. Like don't show me that right out of the gate. Like let me find it via yeah, they need to exploration. go deeper into like they they're, they're on the right track compared to where they were with finding things right like we talked yeah. about it before where because that bird you're talking about christian in odyssey you would take your bird and be there for 10 minutes just tagging shit and that shit has been <laughs> reduced here and there is more just kind of natural discoverability and i just want them to go further with it like lean further into Lean the, further into it as in when I go to a new area, don't have the blue, yeah. the gold, and the white pings to, at places I've never even been. Don't put it there. Let me discover it on my own. That's what was so mm. awesome about Zelda Breath of the Wild was that I didn't know what was over there. 
And I went over there and I found it and I'm like, holy shit, this is really cool. And so, also like, getting to it was thing. was because I cannot tell you how many times I go on a mission. It's like, I need to go find this prisoner, right? And I can mm-hmm. literally run into that town, into the church, into the bathhouse, kill the one guy, get the key, run into the door, get to the mission and have – I don't have to do any of the fights. I don't have to do any right. stuff. You can just run right. through yeah. so right. many parts of the game. Right. So like they – I honestly believe that the game feels like there's several directors working on the game. There's several different people working on the game mm-hmm. that are like kind of overlooking it and they're not talking to each other. And then you just have like someone's like, well, this person's focused on this mechanic and this person's focused on the world and there's too many moving pieces and it's because everything is too big. And the game needs to just be centralized under a single vision and they need to go back, throw shit out. Here's, here's I'm going to say something right now. Like you don't even need the order. Like that's how ridiculous this is. That's how that's how far oh, we. I'll come be honest this though. Game. I actually kind of like the Animus. I was playing yesterday, and um, no, it I is got cool. I got to a glitch, and Therese goes, "What? When did you start playing Tron?" She was like, "Right, <laughs> yeah, I know. I get what you're saying. I get that point. But like the whole point, the whole thing with like there's the order, and you have to assassinate the people in the order. Yeah, I get it. It's fun. That's fine. But if you had just gotten rid of that part and just made this a st- like literally a story, it doesn't need to be power. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. even need to be the Assassin's yeah, Creed. Yeah, they could just that's make the this like about this now. a Legends game, and it's just they throughout could. history, and it's yeah, yeah, it's so. just a history game now. Like that would be fine. People would probably still play the shit out of it. So this is that's this is my that's my Assassin's Creed review. Right, so um, the last the thing track? I have to say is honestly, and it's something you you said that like I don't have to do this, but uh, raids. The raids are one of the most fun things. I fucking love doing yeah, the raids. raids I love doing the raids. I'll just I'll yeah. just raid all night. I like doing the raids. Yeah. Um, raid so I'm going to share my screen go. here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the spectrum, and we're going to find the uh, my first review score for 2021 season three. So here we have our spectrum. So and are you uh, the number or the, the name of the color? Well, it's going to go. I, I can get you the hex code. We can get you the hex code, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just continue to add games onto this spectrum. So you'll be able to see all them right. all on on the color bar, uh, and I'm just going to reveal the do layer. It already. <laughs> well, we know uh, what half it's on. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm clicking on the layer, but there we go. Boom! Hey! Assassin's Creed Valhalla coming in. It's sort of in a cyan shade right yeah, here. Yeah, I'm thinking more of a there's, sky blue almost. There's, yeah. there's um, something you have to keep in mind too. It's not just, it's, it's, it's a Left multi-dimensional right. review score right. because there's also like, there could be a game that's a similar shade, but it, the, it could be, you know, it could be darker, could be lighter, right, could be brighter as well. What does that well. even mean? Uh, well, the darker, darker. It's, I'll figure it, it out later. Yeah, yeah. There's, well, there's, there's a larger, <laughs> the, the lower down in the color the larger the shadow casts on the game of its of its imperfections. Ooh. Okay. So, you just so that, that is uh, that good, my first review for uh, for 2021. Right. Right. Uh, I'm sorry that took a long time, but this is a game I've been talking about. No, this is a franchise fine. I've been kind of railing against for years, and yeah, considering I it is the number three game of my year, I feel like I really needed to year. talk that out. So Sure. Um, Do we have news? Is there news? Tom? Is there anything important? Oh my God! No, no. <laughs> this, is not, this is a very <laughs> lax. On. This is a very lax episode to start Moving the year on. out because why not? Love it. Moving on. I lax would breath. like if Dan has any. Do you have fortune cookies left? I know you use I mean, a fuck have, ton for that game. I have, I have like sixty left. Great, because honestly, Dan, <laughs> that game that you made for the game show with the fortune cookies, I fucking liked that game a lot. That was really fun. The fortune cookie yeah. game creation game. Yeah, I want to do that again at some point. Too many cookies. Yeah, game. too many cookies. Too many cookies is a really good game. Um, yeah. It came up in the Discord. I think people are fans. All right, today we're unlocking a new game size cookie. Clean break. The intricacy with which with you open that. Yeah. You're not a crack in it already. All right. Um, yes. What do you guys think? Not fortune a fortune. No fortune. Oh, no. not a fortune. Oh, well, I'll, no just way. to make it interesting, I'll say it's a fortune. A ship in harbor is safe, but that's not why ships are built. 
<laughs> that is that's not cool. that's that is origin. not where that's that's that worst second one half. Ever read. At first, I was like, "All right, I can see where this is going," and then yeah. <laughs> it just yeah. completely the worst lost one you've me. Ever read. That's like definitely not a fortune. And I'm not even sure if it's the right saying. I don't even know what the <laughs> fuck is going on there. What are the numbers? <laughs> uh, the numbers are two, three, thirteen, Four. twenty-six. 41 and 51. Nice. Hell yeah. Can we just go back to that? What the hell does this even mean? Yeah, say it again. Say a it again. ship in harbor is safe, but that's not why ships are built. Mm. Yeah. Right, because they're okay. supposed to leave that's harbor. A, yeah, they're supposed yeah. to not be in the harbor. Yeah. It's like so saying, it, like, you so shouldn't just stay home or just do what you're doing because driveway, it's safe. A car in a driveway is safe, but that's not why cars are built. <laughs> right. <laughs> You could live your life safe that, and sheltered, you can't but that's just not what life the is vehicle, for. Tuna. But you can. you can. I know, but like that point. just doesn't explain it. <laughs> no, it doesn't explain. An airport is safe. It makes it gives well, you better context though. A jalopy yeah. in a garage is safe. <laughs> but yeah, yeah but so I guess what they're what saying is, is uh, you could there. stay inside and and be responsible, live or you life. just go out and do what the fuck you want. Don't live your life by fear. There it is. There we go. Perfect. Your mail? Yeah, we've got uh, some quick ones. And then again, we don't have a game Thanks. today, but you will be listening to or watching available for everyone. I recommend for free watching. I feel like listening to you like YouTube. the full experience. Yeah, you should yeah, definitely watch it. Should definitely watch it. Um, our one chip challenge. And then Hit we'll... us with the mail. Oh Here's God. the mail. It never fails. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you want to watch. Oh, wait, Chris, what happened to the uh, tell? tell everyone the gift I got you? Oh, my gosh. I should go get it, shouldn't I? Tom, can you read the questions from the pod? Um, we just have, I think we just have the one from Toby Wan. Uh, Kenobi? Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Questions from the old Potteroo. So we only have the one question? Hit it. Let's go. This is from Toby Wan. He asks, um, well, we actually, we do have, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What streaming? This is from Toby One. What streaming service is the best right now? Which one has the best content and originals? Which one is the best value? If you could only get one, which would it be? Personally, I think I'd have to go with HBO Max. So many originals that are just fantastic: The Wire, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Band of Brothers, as well as a ton of great classic movies and popular shows, cartoons. Probably go with for value. Probably Netflix right now. Still, uh, I think has the best. Yeah, I would, for the money. I would have to agree. I do think that in terms of quality, HBO. If you're including yes. obviously all the back catalog of all the back catalog, yeah, the, I think that's cheating. Personally. Right, that cheating. It's just, Netflix has yeah. a back catalog. That's part Netflix, of it. Netflix has a back catalog, but it was created, and Netflix is still Netflix. Whereas like HBO Max is taking shows like Curb and The Wire that were invented in the mid 2000s when Before it was streaming. an extension of cable right so you know mm. i if 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 we were to take hbo max on hbo max originals only and not include all the stuff that premieres on oh. hbo <laughs> amazing oh, it God. fucking uh whatever time code this is on patreon.com forward slash unwrecked podcast to go see so the visuals put there. on a little weight from uh covid uh, wow. wow. Just got to scratch my belly button. So Alex got me this fat guy fanny pack. Oh my God, Chris. I thought <laughs> that was just that my that was your real stomach. <laughs> Wait, and really? now that photo you shared in the oh my fucking God. chat makes a lot yes. more sense. It's not even yes. the same skin tone. Yeah, but, but your belly is paler than your face. And Mine is not. The rest of you. Oh, okay. Well, but you're so pale that it couldn't be. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a fat guy fanny pack. When it came and I opened it, by the way, I didn't realize this was a gift from Alex. I had more Amazon stuff coming still at the time, and she yeah. goes, "Why would you buy that?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I don't even know what the fuck this Amazing. is." And then I was like, "Oh, that son of a bitch." <laughs> That's Tina's gift. Wait, speaking of gifts, Alex, yeah, how are you uh, filming yourself right now? Oh yeah, Tom. Also, speaking of gifts. 
Tom got me, the, I mean, it's hard to say, but Tom got me this uh, recorder that goes around my neck. Alex, I would like you, and the audience won't be able to hear this, but can you just go walk into the bathroom so you can see yourself in the mirror with yeah, that? Yeah, hold on. You'll obviously Tom, have to put the mic down. But... Tracking is actually kind of cool. Yeah. Tom, <sighs> so I think it's great that you got the one that comes with that special feature that you can just uh-huh. uh, turn on right now. Sorry? Use the shock collar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <that's... laughs> oh, how am I going to? Oh, wait, hold on. Just turn. I'm, hold on a second. Oh, I see yeah. what you're saying. I see what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> wait, throw your hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> Heads free, baby. Amazing. I can't believe you're using it. it. Honestly, Alex, I'll say this has been like the best video of you we've ever had on the show. <laughs> <laughs> What's the comfort level now that we're an hour and a half into bad. this? Yeah. Not bad. Are you going to use it in future episodes? Is this a... Probably. Right. That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. It's so good. In fact, the fact that it, like, of course it follows him, Tom, but I wasn't thinking about it either. I was thinking, like, well, Alex will be back in a minute. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I, I knew it would follow him. That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I, I did think about what that was going to look logistics. like until he did. The logistics. I, I didn't. I'm glad Alex. I didn't. Alex didn't say anything. It's when I posted the picture. I was just like, I'm not gonna tell them what the. He fuck looks this like was. he's. A, he looks like he's in a fucking um, like uh, like a music video. <laughs> yeah, for um, who's the guy that does uh, that music video that has Christopher Walken in it? Oh, like uh, oh, Spike Jones video. Yeah, but like way back in the day, I I want to say Slim Shady, but it's not. No, Slim no, no. Uh, funk God something. Uh, slim. Anyway, uh, Fat Boy Slim. All right. Fat Boy Slim. Thank you. It looked like you were in a Fat Boy Slim video. Thank Hell you. yeah. Yeah, that that video oh. was directed by Spike <sighs> Jones, I believe. It was directed by Spike Jones. It was indeed. Great music video. Great, great artist. Great everything. Chris Walken, love him. No complaint. So uh, there you go. Hit us with the chip. Uh, yeah, so we're going to play the Hot Chip Challenge, and then we're going to come back, do our outro, and then we're going to talk about that during the post-show, which we'll just attach to the episode, because it's the post-shows are going to be free for everyone this month as well. There you go. Yeah. Special guest for the One Chip Challenge, Therese the Beast. Yeah, regretting already. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, so, I don't want to uh, do this. As everyone knows, we traditionally do for a new season a power hour, which we are going to do, but the idea of the One Chip Challenge came up. So we're going to do that first. Uh, we are recording this separately because we have no faith that we'd be able to survive a power hour immediately after eating the one chip. And we want to be able to get through that. So um, that is true. We're going to go and do this thing. If you don't know about the one chip challenge, it is a California Reaper with Szechuan heat. This is, I looked it up. It's like 1.5 million scov- uh, nope. scovels. Nope. Nope. Chris, it's not. The new one from this year is 2.2 million. 2.2 million scores. There we go. Even better. Even better. That's great. Wait, this uh, is even wow. worse than the one they, before? They used even more of the Carolina Reaper peppers this year. It is 2.2 million on the chip. Amazing. Um, That's one word. So the goal of this is to be able to do this without then a throwing it out, wimping out, uh, throwing up, or drinking some delicious milk. I have some chocolate milk myself. Um, we're, we're going for five minutes. So I've got a timer here. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. We're taking it out? I, I thought you said by the way. So it was, oh, it's a featherweight. Know, it's what they classify as featherweight for the last five minutes. Really loud. Okay. It got really loud for me. I don't know why. Okay. Um, was that really loud for me? Yes. All right. So we're going to do the challenge now. Here we go. Uh, we're all going to very carefully so do we... start it after we eat the chip. Okay. So we eat it all in one, right? Yes, you want to eat it as fast as possible. I've seen so... the best technique of people snap it, fold it, put it in. That's so what I was, I was going to, yep. I'm going to snap it, yes. I'm going to fold it. So gonna, yeah. when you go open the box, you get it shows you what to expect. Round yeah. one is a spicy punch to the tongue. Mm-hmm. Round two is a fiery jab to the face. Round three is impaired vision from tears. Round four, a low blow to the gut. And round five, the knockout. Yep. You've opened yours. I didn't see it. Okay. I have not. I'm going to open mine now. 
I'm ready to open the chip. I'm at chip. I'm ready bag. to open the chip. Well, the chip yeah. is ready to go. I have to break my seal. You guys pre-broke your seals. I don't think Tom. Tom looks ridiculous. I think I'm the most prepared glove wise. Tom looks, Tom you probably like might be. Um, I'm basically wearing trash bags on, on my hands. <laughs> Tom looks like he's like he's you know sticking his hand into the bubble to. I'm getting all my like face rubbing out of the way right now. Before I open this thing. Okay. What's going on with your face? I'm I'm doing all the face rubbing before I open the chip. All right, that I could possibly want to do. Eat the entire chip. Wait as long as possible before drinking or eating. What's your reaction? Um, yeah. Out of curiosity, is everyone, if you make it to five, are you counting out right away, or are we just seeing who goes the longest? Uh, I don't know. I, well, I so mean, I'm, I'm, I'm playing it by ear. In 30 no, seconds, in 30 seconds, I'm drinking the milk. Oh, like, you know, seconds. you're not even trying. You gotta make Come it to on. a minute. Tune, we'll tune, see. Uh, if I'm dying, tuna. I'm fucking right. drinking the milk. Dude, I, right. I'm. I'm yeah, gonna, gonna do. Uh, are we opening the shit now? Oh. Anything that comes in its own bag oh. in a case is scary. All right, let's. We're gonna open it, and then we'll prepare. And oh god. Okay, okay so we're opening it now? No, I think mine has yeah. stuff outside the bag. And I oh, really? Okay, I'm oh gonna hold it. Oh my god, I can smell it. I can smell it. Oh mine god. Mine cracked in the bag. Mine cracked as well. Mine Mine's not that cracked. cracked. Oh, okay. Mine's mine cracked. Like for the most lava. part, intact. Honestly, it smells hot. It smells it so... Uh, it's nowhere near my face right now. And it's, right, it's already sneaking it. its way in. Crack it. This I thing agree. is huge! That's why you gotta do the crack and fold, dude. I'm scared of it touching my lips. Right, it's gonna, it's gonna touch a little bit more Fuck than your lips, Tariq. I gotta say, this is the dumbest COVID test we could have done. I'll tell you what, if you had a like a cold right now, you wouldn't much longer. All right. Hang on, hang on. I'm struggling to get mine like out. Okay. You can't get out of this. All right, I got it, I got it. Can't right. smell like, it. Buddy is too close to us. Like, I'm nervous. I got, I got Pepto ready to go. I have Pepto in the doesn't sound, It's fine. All right. Everybody ready? Yep. Yeah. It smells like ass, actually. <laughs> it smells like shit. Yeah. Three, two, one. Mm. I got it down. Yep. I got it down. Part one. Yes. Some, I so already getting hot. hiccups. <gasps> Someone set a timer. Oh fuck, me too. I'm already getting hiccups. Oh, 30 oh shit, I got. It. <laughs> What's going on? with all the hiccups. We got hiccups. We've never looked stupider. <laughs> God. Oh my God. I didn't realize it hurt your throat before your mouth. So fucking hot. <laughs> the hiccups make it worse. Oh. Fuck. I kind of want to drink milk. <laughs> Imagine if we were supposed to do power hour right after. <laughs> you can bow out so you we're at a minute we're just under a minute 30 oh my eyes are tearing up big time oh, I'm not making it five I'm gonna make it I'm gonna be fine no way oh. the back of my throat ow yeah that's where it hurts the most <clears throat> Oh, I'm doubling up now. <laughs> this is great for audio listeners. Patreon.com forward slash I run. No, this is a video. Oh. Oh. Hearing no senses. <laughs> it's like somebody has a flame in the back of my throat. It hurts my oh. ears right now. It's in my ears. Yeah. Oh. I'm having trouble breathing. <laughs> my face wow. is numb now. Dude, my face <sighs> is numb now. I'm so glad I wore those poop bags. 
Now, the back of my throat is not good. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm going to be fine. I think I've crossed uh. the event horizon. Oh, no. <laughs> I think, like, I'm just in it. And this is just, like, my new existence, and I've made my peace with that. <laughs> I it pops up right. above my throat, between my nose and my throat. Oh, yeah, the ears is the worst. It's the ears Where? for me. Oh, God. 315. Oh, God. We're at 315? Oh, we're fine. We'll hit five. No, yeah. I'm about to puke. Oh, okay. Really? really? I'm just hot yeah. as fuck. Uh. Honestly, oh. I feel like I'm cooling off a little bit. Oh. I didn't like oh. that. Oh. <laughs> like a little bit oh. under my tongue. Limited. And that's the worst oh. part. This is what happened to Palpatine. This is the equivalent of what happened to him with the lightning. Okay? Under it's my under tongue, tongue in the back. Next to my throat, I, 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 I feel like that's kind of cheating. Holding the milk what? close, to you. I, just, I just want to feel it. You can't breathe in. <laughs> oh man, the Senate. <laughs> oh fuck. Four minutes, guys. I feel oh, like once yeah. you get past ten minutes, like, what's the difference? I'm just gonna do it at five because I just wanted this to be done. But same. <laughs> Dude, I... Tuna has hit a spiritual level. <laughs> He's in, he's in the zone right now. He's meditating. I'm just trying to hold the puke down. It's come up a few times. Karthik would be so proud right now of, of Tuna right now. This we got. Uh, I want to touch okay. my face, but I don't uh, want to touch it. I think. I already seconds. took my gloves off. I, I should be a good, but still. Yeah. Just tissues for now. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look, there's chip juice up here. Yeah, because you're Palpatine breathing. Everywhere. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Like, <laughs> 15 seconds, boys. I might go for the 10. I'm just going to. So I'm going to go. <laughs> I, could, I could do longer, but I just want it. If we're it's actually five, getting better. Four, it's getting better. Three. Yeah, it is. Five minutes. Great. I'm out. Cheers. I'm, just, I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Oh my god. Tuna, you that that was the I'm gonna best hold out for a while. Milk I've ever had in my I'm life. I'm holding out with tuna. Like We're gonna see how long we can go. Oh. <sighs> the worst it, part is that it's like a very sharp pain right here. Okay, yeah. so right for me, it's so. under my tongue in the back. That's I've and, got it. And like, like a here. little bit towards the throat, like right down here. But I'm alright. I love the fact you know, that Chris was ready to puke and he's just downing chocolate milk. Like, that's going to... I rolled up my paper towels out of the not way. Not as bad as I thought, actually. That probably helped. Not I bad. did not down chocolate milk. So bad. Gargling it. Yeah. Guys, I think, I think we're this now. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I would not recommend this to anyone. Oh, my God. My head is so hot. Wow. This is actually, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm I think fine. I think you think it's gonna get worse, and then it just kind of stays on level. Yeah, oh, but it still burns the mouth. It burns, but oh, like it burns. it's subsiding and it's burning right. It's burning right here for me. I'm talking about no after having the milk. Right. I gotta say, for me, the difference between what I thought it was gonna be and what it ha was, I did, for, didn't realize how many chews after it was in my mouth I would need. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was made. It was way too dry. dry. I was like, I'm going to be chewing this Nobody forever. Us, right? No, it's, that was it's the most so fucked dry. Up part of the whole thing. I like wanted to drink something while eating it because it was so hard. Uh, yeah. There's nothing else to record. Can you? I'm going to. Well, oh, I'm going to get some tissues. We'll see everybody. Well, actually, I mean, I want to still have the challenge for challenge sake. Well, I'll tap like, out. I'm not I'm tapping out. Well, I'm going to tap out. On the, on the camera, though. Oh, fuck. It's I'm still painful. I'll tap out on the camera, but I won't, uh, I won't, like, drink any milk for a while. It's still painful. I mean, it sucks. It no, sucks right the now. Milk. But yeah. I know we can't record all night. In a safe so. space. Yeah, I, can't, I gotta, I gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah. Oh, my God. My head. Like, when I just took off my hat, like, I could feel the heat try to leave my head. <laughs> yeah. steamy, steamy I mean, to be, fair, to be fair, it is now going away. Like, if we were to do a power hour in 30 minutes, I feel like it'd be fine. But Maybe, yeah. but supposedly, like, in 20 minutes yet. or so, well, just stomach, stomach hits. Yeah. <laughs> you did say this, your, your stomach will start to, in a little bit. Like, in 20 minutes after. Yeah. Or 30 well, minutes I'm going to put some steamy dumps in my mouth and stomach. 
So yeah. Oh, you guys are 20 seconds away for 10 minutes. All right. A 10 All right. In 10 minutes, I think we shut it. Shut it down. Shut it, it down in 10 minutes. But shut her this down. This isn't entertaining for anyone. I don't think after 10 minutes. <laughs> no, after 10 minutes. I'm like, I'm not even anything. I'm not like stuffy nose or crying. So I'm good. Like, I, oh, at this I point, it tastes, nose. it tastes just like I had hot wings like a second ago. And, and honestly, it feels like, like I minutes. burned, yeah. like, it feels like I burned the back of my throat with a torch. Is what it feels like. Uh, it's not too bad. It just feels like I put a fucking torch down my throat. Yeah. At the start, or I smiled. Or I swallow glass is what it feels like. At the oh. start, when I was trying to swallow it, and I hiccup a bunch of it like up the back of my throat into the back Gross. of my nose. Yeah, the hiccuping, they were all hiccuping. I didn't know the the, 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 the yeah. hiccup period was for me the and worst then, part. Yeah. The thing Are we good? Are we at ten minutes? That's what's fucking killing me because. Yeah, you have. I, uh, the thing. I right. did, like could have. Cheers. We are lightweights, Tuna. So now We've my nose is on fire. Weights. My nose is on fire because it came out my nose. Yeah, we'll see everyone. <laughs> We're gonna time travel a week, and <laughs> we'll see everyone for the power hour. <laughs> yes. All right. The show sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the other <laughs> podcast. All right, let's just go ahead. I am gonna play. Ooh, some... Moy Caliente. Oh my God, it was so yeah. That was very <laughs> spicy and totally <laughs> just happened. <laughs> I'll I w- I'll say so as someone who's never been able to do spice before. Mm. like you give me medium salsa i'm always like fuck this is hot um uh, now i'm like well i could like i'll, I'll try something spicy now like it'll still be hot but i'm like uh, it will never be worse i will i will literally never be able to eat anything <laughs> spicier than that in my life that yeah. is that is it that's true that's true that is it so tuna for that though do you think like when we when we were at Big Daddy's and we got like the the ghost pepper wings, right? Mm-hmm. Are the did those feel spicier than the chip? No. For me, they did. I don't know. Maybe because it just well, like burnt the shit out of my tongue for longer because well, because we kept on eating chicken. them, whereas the chip yeah. was a quick eat. That's true. That's probably why. I never had the, those wings. Didn't last for ten minutes. The heat true. Are right, you gonna play us out and then we'll talk about it? Playing the classic tunes just because we have to retire. Yeah. The old music. Tuna Targaryen on Twitter. Tuna Targaryen on PlayStation. This one's faster. You gotta go faster. On Xbox. All right, I'm done. Dan. Big Danny 15 on Twitter, on Twitch, on PlayStation. You can find me at the Big Danny 15 on Xbox. Tom. Great Brits home on each and every platform. Christian underscore Humes is the other on rank podcast and stay on rank. Suck on that spicy chip. Fuck the chooms. I forgot to say the chooms. No, too well, late. It's too late. It's too um, late. I like so, the breeziness of that. That was nice. Yeah, that was good. The, the new ones are, uh, All right. are a bit shorter. So, chip. Oh, good chip. Good, good hottest, thing, hottest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Uh, the pain that I felt in my mouth and the back of my throat was like you were either holding a blowtorch in my mouth for a good five minutes. Like that was the hottest part, the good, the first five minutes, or you were just like cutting my throat with glass. Like that, or so, I was like, it was, it was constant pain. Yeah. So this was funny. I I I, sh- I took the video of the like my because we all had like a second camera on ourselves, so like I had my video and I cut it together just like to show a couple people at work, and uh, mm-hmm. I was showing it to this guy today, and he he was like, oh, how was it? And it got to the point in the video, like maybe a minute in, and I was like, it kind of felt like someone was holding like, a like, a match to the back of my throat, and like two seconds later, I go, in the video, it feels like someone's like got a torch in the back of my throat. <laughs> <laughs> it is very. I mean, I think that the initial for me, the initial thing, was mm-hmm. I thought a couple of chews and I'd be done. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, and the fact point. that yeah. the moment like- I put it in. I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be here so for dry. a very long time. I and think that's why Tuna and I did a little better because we, we powered you can, through If it. you can hear you me. You guys chewed it way faster than I did. If you can hear me, I'm like, because <laughs> I, I did like, not realize how dry that chip was going to be. <laughs> yeah. Holy yeah. 
Well, and I did not, I barely <laughs> ate before I had this thing, which really fucked me up. But the thing that really ruined it for me was when I got the hiccups right at the start. <laughs> we all I had hiccups, that was crazy. I, I, was, I was still chewing it. So I had several pieces go up the back oh. and into my nose. So the whole time I had it in my mouth and oh. in my nose, which is why I was just like, I was like, I, forget my mouth. Like it, it was almost like, have you ever had like sinus, like a sinus? Like dude, headache? Had, it was like, yeah. it was the like a is- sinus fire. I've had this, this burned more than anything I ever have done. Is I was yeah, eating thanks. a Starburst one time, and I sneezed, and it went into my nose, and it burned for about an hour. Yeah, yeah. So it, that's, um, I can relate to that burning. I couldn't <laughs> yeah. believe how quickly I got the hiccups. I mean, within not even a. I mean, I got it within a second of swallowing the whole thing, um, and. The fact that the hiccups lasted what? They lasted for each of us a couple minutes. Yeah, Maybe probably about two minutes. And it was yeah. minute or two. It was yeah. hard the to even. Two and a half minutes. It was, it was, was hard to. I, at one point, I had to just like close my eyes and just like. Think but that it was away. we had very different reactions. I was just like writhing in pain, and you went into a fugue state. You were <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex <laughs> was Fuck was. This. No longer in his body. Alex was outside of his body, watching his body be tortured, and his body could no longer. Re- it was like you had succumbed to the pain. Oh, I'd and, yeah, the I remember chip. you saying that. It was like he. Was, and we were talking about it, it was like he was meditating <laughs> instead of. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't it. meditating. It, his his. It was like his. Br- you, you ever see those goats when they get scared and they they tip over? It yeah. was like that, except Alex's body just like his brain gave out all control to the rest of his body and he could no longer uh, it, it and that's why the second say, the timer came up and i had that milk yeah, tom yeah. was like oh he's chugging the milk i wasn't chugging the milk i was gargling the milk and trying to get it up to as close to the top <laughs> of the back of my nose and i was gargling <laughs> the milk and spitting it out because the top of oh, my throat into my nose you was just poured it right on your nose. fire huh you should yeah. have taken like a dropper and just squirted it right in your nose <sighs> Honestly, I, um, I wish I had I now that you say, say I that. Will, I don't know how – I mean, I'm pretty sure we all know how we all felt. But the next morning wasn't that bad, as bad as I had thought. But the night of, like an hour, hour and a half later, my stomach was definitely, like, yeah. tight. Yes. Like, it just felt mm-hmm. tight. Yes. Like, it just – like, it, like it didn't – I wasn't, like, cramping. Like, it wasn't, like, in pain. But it felt like – I don't know. It was a weird sensation. I, was I had like, some hot burps. Mm. I had a burp or two, mm. and then suddenly I got a stomach cramp, and like oh I was God. like in. It was like yeah. all of it came back again out of yeah. nowhere. Tom, you had one uh, of those. Yeah, I. Uh, so the first, I would say, the first two to three minutes were was consistently some of the most pain. I yeah, that, I ever agree. In it. Yeah, yeah. And then it kind of died down, and then we were at the five minute mark, and I was like. I don't need to prove anything. I don't need to go the full time. I'm just going to have the milk now. But yeah. I would have said that it probably would have just like stayed in an even keel. But then mm. I, I would go sit down on the couch. But a half hour later, I was like you guys. And I was sitting in the this <laughs> oh my the Patreon, patreon.com for the, where you're the lazy down, boy position. Where you're lying yeah. down because yeah. my right. stomach felt. Height, as as yeah. Tina was saying, and I was yeah. having a couple of burps, and then we walked to the kitchen to grab something, and I had a really big one, and then I <laughs> was like, "This is pre- This is what it, if you're a duck giving birth, <laughs> this is what <laughs> pregnancy must birth? feel like." Yeah. Because I, Brooke, Brooke was Brooke was panicking because she didn't know what was happening, and I was just on the ground. Scre- I, I felt all I could yeah. do was scream. And yeah. she was like, what's up? What's up? And I was just like, I am in the most pain I have ever <laughs> been in in my life. Just screaming for a good 30 seconds. Oh. And, um, but then after that, I was fine. And I was a little worried that the next day, you know, I, I would have a uh, bowel movement that would be yeah, it didn't happen. too much. Yeah, I didn't but have that, that either. Did, that that was happen. fine. The, yeah, the, the, that cramp was the, the yeah, end that was, of it. That was See, yeah, yep. you three had issues with that stuff. I've. I had like a couple of weird burps and they just, it was weird. And I think it's because I, all I had eaten that whole day at that point was like a piece of pizza. I had yeah, eaten so, almost nothing. So I pretty much prepared for it like a couple of hours before I had uh, a bunch of pumpernickel bread with cream cheese on it. Mm, and it was like yeah, the whole yeah. wheat and like a dairy thing on purpose to put down that base. And I think it helped cool down the stomach. Yeah. It, 
I had I had some of those cramp pains and T was T was I mean we both felt like shit. I will say I was exhausted later. And I think it was just like from the cramps and the pain, my body just felt like I felt like I had been like beat up. Yeah. Like I was just so tired all over. It was like seven o'clock and I was like, I haven't felt this tired in a long time. And it's like 7 p.m. I shouldn't be tired at all. But the thing that really none of you guys had, which I had, and it's probably because I didn't, I probably just didn't swallow the chip fast enough. I basically lost my sense of taste for almost three days. Like wow. it was, I, I, yeah. The whole you weekend, might have had COVID. I couldn't. I could. Well, so I couldn't. It was obviously like obviously spice taste gone, sour taste was gone, sweet taste was gone. I tried to like have a spin drift. I tried to have like a soda or something like syrupy, and it was just it just tasted like stale water. It was just it just tasted <laughs> awful. The only thing that worked was savory and salty. So I just ate like popcorn and a burger. Like the next morning, I went to get my burrito and they have a crunch wrap now which by the way fucking rules it's the same thing as the burrito but now it's just fucking like fried and crunch wrappy it's oh it's so good um but then they hand me the salsa and i smelled like just like the <laughs> mild spice of the salsa and i like almost like i was Flashbacks, just like oh flashbacks. it was like yeah it was like it was like one of those like <laughs> nauseous chills that like came in from my stomach instead of like up the back of your spine and i was like i'm just eating this without any salsa today i just can't right now this is too much it was wild though it was really wild i'm glad we did it um i'll never do it again but it was it was a crazy fucking thing to do it was a lot of fun i'm just glad i didn't get any on my fingers we we gloved up yes Yes. yeah the gloves are smart yeah 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 because getting i i had like because as i was burping and like kind of like everything was just moving through I got a little bit in the nose, and I was like, thank God that this was just a dash in the nose. <laughs> I cannot imagine getting a huge whiff of that. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. going full mouth breathe on this. I was like, there's no way it's going to be a good decision. To, like, <laughs> I didn't think any about that way. at all. I was just like... <sighs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was doing that, just like a bellows. Like, Mine went <sighs> up the back of my nose, and eventually, like, oh. as it, I was, like, starting to get, like, snot, because it was just, like, my nose became running. Uh, it was yeah. like, I could feel it, like, burning coming out of my nose. I was like, oh, no. It was bad. And then, Tom, as you mentioned that, because we all wore the gloves, I was so paranoid about touching anything. You'll see it in the video. But, like, I just washed my hands, like, several times. But I did a bad job. I had, like, touched the table. So then there was just the black spice water on the table. So I'm washing the table. I'm washing my hands. I'm washing my arms. Everything's wet. And I'm just, like, in pain. It was bad. (laughs) I was definitely the sloppiest. It was not good. Alex was like Doctor Strange for a minute during that. <laughs> Amazing. Um, well, I guess we'll see everyone next week for the sequel of Trico. Alex, what's what's Trico's evolution name? Pineco. Perfect. <laughs>